Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook, The God of All People. My God Domain is the Endless Abyss. Chapter 51 A few days later, Tianding University. There are two days left until the final deadline for graduation project. All graduates have completed their own assessments during this time period. Like the previous graduates, some of these graduates who have completed the assessment are happy and some are sad. Only about half of the graduates, before the core of the world was completely destroyed, buried the alien legion led by the legend in the world of own god's domain. Whether it is the world of science and technology, the world of steampunk, or the world of magic and swords, in these three assessments with increasing difficulty, they have shown their own tenacity and perseverance. The creatures in these divine realm worlds are suffering heavy casualties and have not abandoned them in the world. Whether they are elves, humans, or alien beasts. They sacrificed themselves in exchange for the perfection of a world of the gods, and in exchange for the hope that their world could continue to survive. And the best among them, the strongest god's domain world, has become the transcendent world without one in a hundred. These worlds that can achieve transcendence life are destined to become the leaders of other divine worlds. Each of the masters of these divine realm worlds is destined to leave their names inside Tianding University. They are the proudest students cultivated by Tianding University. This is the happiest day of the year. It was rare for Wang Ji to show a good face, and in front of the rest of the tutors, he showed a rather pleasant expression. The total number of transcendent worlds that have appeared this year is a lot more than in previous years. There are 35 in total. The rest of the instructors said happily. For some reason, the graduation rate and the transcendent world appearance rate this year are much higher than in previous years. Yes, yes, every student here, in my eyes, has a good future. I heard that many people have already made plans for the future. I feel that my teaching has been very effective. Yes, yes, you taught me well. Hey, each other, it's us, we. Just as the group of mentors were chatting about, inviting each other for credit, Wang Ji suddenly sighed. This sighing sound, although it was nothing in a noisy room. But all the mentors were heartbroken. Not every one. Among this group of graduates, there is another student whose future we cannot predict. All the instructors were stunned. Yes. Except for one. Among this group of graduates, the one who deserves to be the strongest. Seems to be today. It's time for Chu Hao to challenge the fourth assessment. Hearing this, Wang Ji raised his head and looked in a certain direction. Mountain. It's there. I hope you can get over it. Chu Hao pulled his own mind back from the endless abyss. Then, he left his own dormitory and came to the road to the assessment area. The dormitory is full of graduates who are celebrating their passing the exam. Throughout the dormitory, there were laughter and laughter, and of course, sighs and sighs. And at this moment, I don't know who noticed Chu Hao. Then, more and more eyes were placed on Chu Hao. I don't know when it started, the news that Chu Hao was going to challenge the fourth assessment spread like wildfire from Tianding University. Many people expressed incomprehension and incredible attitude towards this. After all, the horror legend of the fourth assessment was firmly engraved in their minds. No graduates believe that Chu Hao can accomplish this feat. After all, the difficulty of the fourth assessment is comparable to the sky. Therefore, in these eyes, there are envy, disdain, jealousy, hostility and regret, and a little pitiful encouragement. Chu Hao ignored them, just indifferently, and continued to walk towards the assessment area. And more students, more non-graduates, also heard from the mouths of those graduates that someone is going to challenge the fourth assessment. Chu Hao, who was walking alone outside, was immediately recognized. The fourth assessment was different from the usual assessments. Although they could not see the structure of Chu Hao's world in this assessment, they were able to understand the situation of the war through the images created by their respective mentors, at least the assessment. Battle situation in the world area. Chu Hao entered the assessment area and manifested his own endless abyss. Different from the arrogance and terror in the past, I don't know why, this time the endless abyss showed the form. It was just a black and red vortex, as quiet as a mass of stagnant water. Then, a staff member in charge of the assessment nervously pushed out a huge world exuding pure golden light from the center of the assessment area. This huge, artificially created world is like a golden mist, constantly dispersing. It's about to start. 
Wang Ji Sidan, like many mentors, opened the pre-prepared image transmission capability. Come on, Chu Hao. In the principal's office, Bai Chen sat in his own seat. She opened her own eyes. This time, her eyes changed back to the way they used to be. A star, a black hole. Is it finally time to start? A smile appeared on the corners of her mouth. Although I'm really curious why you do this, I have to admit. Your graduation project is really interesting. So, instead of dying silently, let me see the low-latitude world. Roar. Chu Hao. The fourth assessment. Start. Click. On the periphery of the endless abyss, there is an extra golden channel. This golden passage is like the golden mist that pushes a sharp sword into the throat of the endless abyss world. Everyone held their breath and watched the scene in front of them nervously. The strength of the assessment world is finally going to show its hideousness. Wait, what is this? Happening. But at this moment, an unexpected situation happened. Just when this golden passage appeared on the periphery of the endless abyss, the endless abyss boiled. Unlike the sturdy beam of light, the black and red vortex of the endless abyss has actually begun to establish a channel. Countless hideous, twisted black tentacles burst out from the depths of the vortex of the endless abyss, placing their own minions on the huge assessment world. Endless abyss. It is like a monster that was forced to sleep because of hunger. After waiting for a long time, it finally encountered its prey, so it used all its strength to firmly bind itself to this huge prey. It's not about defense. It wants attack at all costs. At this time, in the assessment world, those warriors who were designed to conquer the world of God's domain and shatter the core of the opponent's world heard a whisper from low latitudes at the moment when they were about to attack the endless abyss. The moment this whisper appeared, a shadow appeared in the sea of their tenacious minds. It was an incarnation of the will that ruled this dark, twisted, and chaotic world, and in the core of the abyss where it was, the terrifying words uttered with a smile. Who is it? Altered devil. After hearing Chu Hao's whispers, all the warriors assembled in the assessment world immediately felt an invisible shadow shrouding their heads. Moreover, it is different from when they took the initiative to invade other gods' realm worlds in the past. This time, when they were still in the process of transmission, they somehow sensed the breath of that world. But how is this possible? In the past, in the passage linking the two worlds, what the soldiers smelled and felt the breath of the world would basically belong to the side of their own world. From the assessment world they are in, there is the fragrance of flowers and plants in the world of elves, the smell of gunpowder and steel in the world of dwarves, the fragrance of food in the world of humans, and the icy breeze of the dragon family. But this time is completely different. The taste of their world is disappearing. On the contrary, the flavor of the world they are about to invade is getting stronger and stronger. That's the stench of decay. That is the stench of poisonous mist. It was derived from the purest darkness, an ominous smell. All the warriors were inquiring about each other anxiously, guessing what the world was like. What is happening? The good-looking face of the leader of the elf clan had faint wrinkles. As a legendary pinnacle that has lived for 3,000 years, he has personally destroyed at least 10 cores of the world, and this is the first time he has seen such a situation. The most difficult thing for arrogant elves to accept is this stench. I don't know either, Elrond. A human leader with a height of nearly 4 meters beside Elrond, the elf king, shook his head and said in a loud voice. But I hope you don't mind these smells too much. After all, the order given to us by the angels of the great Saint Gia is to completely destroy that world. This is our only goal. And soon, we will return to our original world. When the time comes, we will be greeted with flowers and glory. Hearing this, Elrond, the elf commander, nodded, and expressed his respect for this human leader who, although he was a human, had a higher status than himself. This one, but it is real, an angel personally ordered the supreme commander in command of this war, he must not despise the opponent, especially when the opponent is strong enough to kill himself. For a while, the smells of the elf commander didn't seem so unpleasant. As ordered, the great Marshal Thales. The great angels are above, this time there is no limit to the source of troops, we will definitely win. Hearing this, Marshal Thales nodded indifferently. Looking into the distance of the passage, in a few seconds, these millions of soldiers, as the first batch of landing troops, came to the otherworld with the stable golden passage. 
and this time, Marshall Thales will, like those few legends of world deathmatch, lead the warriors of their world to the unknown world that dares to establish a link with their world, slaughter everything and destroy all living beings, ultimately destroy their world core. According to legend, every time the world fights to the death, the angels they serve will feel heartfelt satisfaction. And those warriors who led their troops to those worlds, without exception, won unimaginable glory after their return. Thinking of this, Marshall Thaley's heart that was calm as water inexplicably swayed. Stabilize your mind, what's going on today, to distract your own mind before the war. While Marshall Thaley's was still struggling with his turbulent mind, the mutation. A doomed mutation has occurred. The angel is above, what is this? My goodness. At the forefront, the screams of a group of orc soldiers caught the attention of Marshall Thales. Quiet, Thales roared, have you forgotten the rules of the army, you bunch? Suddenly, Marshall Thales was also stunned. He widened his eyes and looked at all this in front of him in disbelief. His heart was beating wildly. Their space channel has been connected to that world. However, their transmission was not completed, as if there was a bug in the space-time channel. But if that's all, Marshall Thales' originally immobile state of mind wouldn't surprise him. Because he found that for transporting his own space channel, the end of the channel. It was actually corrupted. Darkness, with an indescribable distorted and disgusting substance, is like a rising tide, sweeping the space channel where they are in forward and reverse directions. They are getting faster and faster, and the stench that Elrond, the elven commander, has smelled before, is getting stronger and stronger. In just a few breaths, these disgusting, almost vomit-out distorted substances have successfully produced a pollution range that surpassed the heads of Thales and Elrond. And, their corrosion isn't over yet. They are polluting all the space-time channels straight, until the end of the time-space channels. They actually lost control of the entire space-time channel. What is this? Aren't we the attacking side? For the first time, Elrond felt an inexplicable panic. However, before the beautiful male elf commander could recover, at the forefront of this million-level army, the orc warriors suddenly began to suffocate and scream. And those dark fogs, whose speed is far inferior to distorted matter, made him unable to see anything. Finally, those dark fogs shrouded the orc legion at the forefront of the entire legion, shrouding them in the fog in the darkness. Enemy attack. Thales finally came to his senses, he roared and drove his own powerful warhorse to the front of the rest of the legions. With him as an example, the rest of the legions were immediately ready for battle. And at this time, those dark mists finally made a move. 1. The arm belonging to the orc stretched out of the mist, and it seemed to be still shaking. It seemed that it was someone who couldn't find a way out in the dark, and was groping while advancing. This can't help but let the originally nervous legionnaires immediately take a breath. Although they don't know what this thing is, at least it's not as deadly as it looks. Someone comes out is the biggest proof, isn't it? But the next second, all the sounds disappeared, and many warriors held their breaths and began to tremble. Because what appeared in that darkness was not an orc. It was a native devil that ate the corpse of an orc. In the darkness and fog behind him, thousands of little devils emerged. These little devils were originally surrounded by the original devil, noisily wanting to share the remains of some orc corpses, even if it was a blood clot. But now they collectively look to the other side, where they saw something more interesting. It's those huge numbers of soldiers. In the eyes of these, monsters, all the soldiers saw malice, greed, and hunger. These monsters have been locked up in their own world for too long. Charge. Thales roared. He was the first to ride a war horse and rushed into the mist of darkness. This war. The first rules that need to be twisted are a series of spatial rules. Chu Hao sat at the bottom of the endless abyss, his eyes were empty, but he said without sadness or joy. In the darkness, he raised his head and looked in the direction of the sky. And behind him, countless blood vessels made of pure darkness were inserted into his back. With his words, the veins around Chu Hao's temple burst. The blood vessels made up of countless darkness are also wriggling at this moment, as if delivering nutrients and absorbing something. Only by distorting these space rules, the rest of the abyss creatures can break those plain crystal walls. With his whispers, the entire world of the assessment revealed its true face to Chu Hao for the first time, and to many people who were observing the fourth assessment. 
This is a huge world composed of 13 different planets in a ring shape. Each of these 13 planets has its own unique structure. Different races of creatures have evolved on each planet, and even each planet contains a lot of treasures and resources. And in the center of this God's domain world, in the center area of the 13 planets, rings, is a separate design. A white planet that shines like a diamond. And these 13 planets are slowly revolving around the white planet. But while everyone was still observing these 13 planets with their own exquisite designs with great interest, a terrifying discovery occupied all their fields of vision. Small black dots are slowly emerging on these 13 planets. That is, mark of the endless abyss. At the bottom of the abyss, Chu Hao smiled. In the passage of time and space that is about to be completely corrupted. Charge. Marshal Thales roared. I don't know if he was disturbed by the terrifying black fog and the monsters in the fog, or if Marshal Thales sensed the danger ahead of time in his confusion, or because he felt a sense of fear that should not have appeared in his heart. Ashamed. In short, this powerful commander who is four meters tall and has gone through countless expeditions, actually took the lead, driving a strong warhorse alone, and rushed into those mists first. Such courage and boldness made the world armies in the assessment in the passage feel extremely surprised at this moment. But no one dared to move. The roar of the charge was stuck in their throats, as if they were stuck in their throats. Facing this distorted distorted substance, facing the terrifying black fog that he generated, and these terrifying devils living in the black fog. Facing the extremely, hungry, eyes of this group of devils. This group of soldiers hesitated for the first time. Fear and survival forced the blood in their hearts to turn into calm emotions. But at this time, the elven commander named Elrond showed great courage and indignation in front of all the warriors. He was extremely disappointed by the weak warriors in front of him. How dare you, let the marshal be allowed to charge alone. After he finished speaking, he rode the unicorn under his crotch, held an angel's banner high, followed closely behind Marshal Thales, and launched an attack towards the black fog and the devils in the black fog. Charge. The moment his voice appeared, Elrond finally followed behind Marshal Thales, and came into contact with the devils with terrifying and depraved images. At the moment of contact, the unicorn under it directly raised its hoof, and in a bloodthirsty posture completely different from its own shining image, it smashed the head of the original devil, and randomly surrounded those around it. The little devils around the native devil also trampled into muddy water. Just when these disgusting blood plasma and mud water splashed on the unicorn's body, the unicorn's body burst into endless light. In an instant, these bloods containing depravity and evil were swept away by the rays of light and redemption. Even those black mists were emptied a lot at this moment. Then the elf Elrond looked back. All the soldiers saw the unyielding fighting spirit burning in his eyes. Fear is broken. All troops charge. I don't know which soldier roared first. At this moment, the courage that all the soldiers had briefly lost returned. Under the banners of countless angels' portraits, this group of brave soldiers immediately started a brave attack. Magic, artillery, bows and arrows, and even divine arts were fired from the support troops behind, and their targets were the black mist and devil in front of them. Fight these monsters back. Those powerful battle groups in the assessment world that have been discouraged by countless assessments have finally revealed their fangs to the endless abyss once again. Victory is something engraved in their bones. Humph. You disgusting perverts. At the forefront of the troops, Marshal Thales slashed a virgin devil full of wriggling sarcomas in half with an axe with a single axe. Under his power, the other little devils who didn't die immediately formed a mess, some were launching futile attacks on Thales, some were taking the opportunity to escape, and some were in the dark in the fog, calling the own devil companions. Under Thales' rage, he displayed his own combat skills without mercy. In an instant, the flames representing his anger burned this group of noisy little, monsters, to ashes. Powerful, unrivaled power. This mighty warrior at the pinnacle of legend showed his own dominance when facing devil in the black mist. Ordinary devils who have not even reached the legend, in his eyes, can only be ants. Marshal Thales glanced at the devils peeping at it in the dark fog around him, and roared. Come on, you monsters. As he spoke, he waved the giant axe in his hand, and crushed the other devils who were still grinning at him into powder. In the name of the angel of sacred, purify your wicked and fallen souls. 
With his roar, all the other devils retreated. With his roar, the expansion of the entire black mist also stopped. At the same time, the rest of the warriors, including Elrond, finally followed the steps of this powerful commander and came to the edge of the retreat of black mist and devil. Seeing this situation, Marshal Thales looked back. He didn't blame those warriors, after all, he almost lost the courage to attack at that moment just now. He just said lightly, organize the armament, prepare to continue the attack. He turned his head, looked at the receding black mist and the devils, and said with a confident smile. We will definitely exterminate these twisted and depraved monsters, and then purify their dirty world. Hearing this, the soldiers of the entire chapter immediately raised their weapons and issued their own battle cry. Their blood has been ignited. Sure enough, when everyone is desperate, only a hero like the marshal can inspire the blood of the soldiers. Elrond thought as he looked at the blood-soaked marshal in front of him. Everything is getting better, isn't it? But is it really so? Boom, boom, boom. The sound of footsteps like an earthquake resounded in the passage, and the battle cry of those warriors stopped immediately. Once again, the entire chapter became silent. It was as if these footsteps were stepping on the hearts of these warriors. Everyone felt a suffocating horror that was almost maddening. Ow. The whispers from some unknown monster grew louder and louder as the footsteps approached in the black mist. Quote, 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 quote. Then, in the black mist, scarlet eyes appeared one after another. These scarlet eyes, even through the black mist, can still make people see clearly. These scarlet eyes are full of extreme malice and ridicule. I don't know if it was an illusion, but Elrond suddenly felt that the temperature in this passage had suddenly risen a lot. It was as if clumps of hot magma were approaching them. And at this moment when everyone was silent, a huge figure appeared on the edge of the black fog. 1. Holding an eternally burning flaming greatsword, the Balrog with lava armor on his body and black and red horns on his head came out of the black fog. It just stood there and the channel itself was melting with its temperature. It just breathes, and it rolls up an endless firestorm. Legend Peak Eldrin's eyes widened suddenly, and he felt the terrifying aura emanating from the monster in front of him. It is a breath of true darkness and depravity mixed with greed and malice. This breath made him feel that it was difficult to breathe, and even the voice of wanting to escape appeared in his heart, and he shouted frantically. Boom, boom, boom. But the footsteps in the black fog did not stop. There are still monsters, approaching them. Behind the Balrog, a double-headed snake body monster appeared. A monster wriggled like a mud ball and covered with gluttonous mouths, and the other was walking on its stomach like a beast, but a monster covered with bone spurs and tentacles appeared, ah. Uh. Each of them is the pinnacle of legend. Each of them is the embodiment of extreme distortion and depravity. Each of them yearns for a never-ending battle. Each of them is very. Hunger. At this time, Eldrin looked strangely at Marshal Thales beside him. Suddenly, as if struck by lightning, Eldrin's eyes widened, looking at the scene in front of him in horror. Marshal Thales's hands holding the giant axe actually. Trembling. How could the endless abyss retreat? In the darkness at the bottom of the endless abyss, a pair of indifferent eyes without any emotion swept here. Ha ha. How's it going? In the observation room, a tutor smiled and looked at Wang Ji with a serious face. Obviously, they all know that for Wang Ji, he is very satisfied with Chu Hao's performance, and they naturally know that Wang Ji will definitely pay attention to Chu Hao's current performance. Not objective. Wang Ji sighed. But now Chu Hao's endless abyss has not been invaded by any. From the very beginning, Chu Hao didn't plan to let the warriors of the assessment world go into the endless abyss to wreak havoc. Instead, he invaded the opponent's channel in the opposite direction, allowing the warriors in the world of his gods to meet the enemy in the channel hit hard. In the picture, the connection between the assessment world and the endless abyss has changed from a dazzling golden yellow to a twisted black red. Chu Hao's devil legion, obviously in the space channel, has the upper hand. Oh, that sounds pretty good. The instructor's eyes lit up. He has also seen some of the content involved in the fourth assessment. He is very clear that in the fourth assessment, the most difficult point in the early stage is how to withstand the alien warriors who are rushing in like sea water in the assessment world. No no, that's not the point. Wang Ji's eyes were full of worry. The key is this guy Chu Hao, really. 
The next second, Wang Ji presented the picture of Chu Hao's fourth assessment in the observation room. He doesn't know why, but he chose to invade all the assessment worlds at the same time, 13 planets. You must know that on every planet in this place, there are terrifying alien races that cannot be measured. But he started a game anyway. Crazy war. Hearing this, all the tutors looked at the picture, and their eyes were full of shock. At this time, the endless abyss stretched out countless tentacles towards the assessment world, greedily holding every planet. And the plain crystal wall between the endless abyss and these planets has been gradually broken. The devil army from the endless abyss is devouring every planet in the assessment world with an absolutely greedy posture. Every time they arrive at a place, there will be an extra black spot on these planets. And there are more and more black spots like this. But correspondingly, in the assessment world, those powerful warriors have also been activated. And the number of them will be too many to count. The other side. After glancing at the passage that examines the world's link to the endless abyss, Chu Hao turned his vision away. From beginning to end, Chu Hao didn't take the space channel too seriously. His attention is mainly focused on the main attack direction of the endless abyss, that is, those above the black spots that appeared on the 13 planets in the assessment world. Space access will be a brutal battle, but that's not the end. At the bottom of the endless abyss, Chu Hao is sitting cross-legged, and countless, vessel-like beings composed of black mist are embedded on his back. The point is, how to pass the characteristics of the endless abyss. Chu Hao raised his head, and the countless black blood vessels on his back swelled. Complete the corruption of these thirteen worlds. Once the space tunnel is established, then, they can't escape. The assessment world, the thirteenth planet. The world of dwarves and gnomes. On the periphery of the city wall of a craftsman city. Where did these filthy and depraved monsters come from? The dwarf, iron felt, touched his scorched beard and cursed angrily. On its left side, is an enchanted musket that has exploded its chamber, and behind it is a steampunk-style fighting machine driven by a gnome. This mass-produced fighting machine, in the battle just now, burst out with strength comparable to a tenth-stage warrior. But at this time, there was a huge devil's claw hanging outside the cab of this fighting machine. And the leg of the fighting machine was bitten off alive by some kind of devil in an extreme way. Metal construction machinery. It was actually bitten off by flesh and blood. I don't know either, but. A dwarf with a bandage on his head, holding a wrench in vain repairing the fighting machine in front of him. The number of them is really terrifying. As the dwarf spoke, he looked down at the city wall. Under the city wall, the bodies of devils are piled up everywhere. The corpses of these devils are being corroded by some unknown force at an extremely terrifying speed. If it weren't for our firearms and machines being powerful enough, in just the last wave of battles, we would most likely be broken through the city wall and annihilated. Yes, the dwarf iron felt through the musket away, replaced it with a new one, and checked it out. It's okay we. But while the two were still talking, an extremely ominous voice penetrated their ears and penetrated straight into their souls. Ow. This is devil's cry. The dwarf immediately flipped over to the edge of the city wall with a flexible posture, and shot at the source of the sound with almost no aim. Boom. The little devil was directly shattered in the head, and fell straight to the ground. Black red blood, like a poisonous mist, completely corrodes the surrounding environment. Ha ha. It turned out to be a fish that slipped through the net. The dwarf laughed, put the musket behind his own back, and then tried to rummage some remaining wine from the corpse of his comrade in arms. But at this moment, the dwarf beside him suddenly patted the dwarf on the shoulder. Hey, what? Have you ever felt that the bodies of these twisted monsters are disappearing? Ah, the dwarf iron felt found half a bottle of spirits and swallowed it. Isn't that a good thing? Let's save the battlefield. Do not. The dwarf pointed to the bottom of the city wall with a horrified expression. The dwarf looked down with a puzzled face, and soon, his expression was no different from that of a dwarf. This is. What's the situation? The bodies of the devils are indeed disappearing. It's just that the corpses they left are still corroding the world. And this corrosion will never stop. The land beneath the city walls, where flowers and green grass should have grown, has now become barren, twisted and disgusting. These lands give people the feeling that they are like a never-ending, falling world, the derivatives left behind on this plane. 
Moreover, in these distorted and mutated lands, there have been devil's cocoon. Here, this land, at this moment, already belong to the endless abyss. This. What is this? Including the iron felt, all the dwarves and dwarf soldiers surrounding the city wall couldn't help asking questions from their souls. The land that once belonged to them, for some reason, has become what it is today. The land that once grew lush plants turned into a barren and twisted black land in an instant. And, with the disappearance of those devil corpses, the pollution scope of these lands continues to expand. If it was just pollution, then these warriors might not be so terrified. What really scares them is, on that land, one after another, the cocoons that breed devil are being teleported through the endless abyss to reach this world. The crystal walls of their planes have been corroded. At this moment, these devil's cocoons are wriggling wildly. A terrifying, twisted monster is about to emerge from its cocoon. Fire. Suddenly, a stout dwarf with a hand cannon roared loudly at the other warriors. The dwarf Ironfelt knew the dwarf. This is its neighbor. Similarly, the other party has one more position than him, and that is the garrison in charge of this city. Fire now and kill these monsters before they hatch. After speaking, the sophisticated hand cannon in the stout dwarf's hand immediately opened fire. Boom. A flaming cannonball slammed into a wriggling devil's cocoon. Pat. In an instant, as the cocoon burst, a small devil whose body had grown in half was instantly smashed into pieces by the cannonball. Countless disgusting and foul-smelling mucus splattered all over the ground along with this devil's corpse. After hearing the roar of the hand cannon, the rest of the dwarves also reacted, and immediately waved various firearms in their hands, pouring their own firepower towards the black earth and those dwarfs were divided into two waves. Among them, the dwarfs who lost their war machines rushed to every dwarf with all kinds of ammunition and supplies. And those dwarfs who also have war machines jumped into their own cabs one after another, starting the mechanical creations that their civilization is proud of. Boom boom boom. With the start of the war machine, more and more gnomes jumped off the city wall and used their own weapons to quickly eradicate the devil's cocoon from the endless abyss. However, I don't know if they felt the threat of death, these cocoons of devil, who had no power to fight back, were moving at a faster speed. Hatching. Finally, the first devil, crawled out of the cocoon that was broken in half. It whispered, climbed up from a pool of blood, opened its eyes and looked at the world. Quote quote. Suddenly, it sees what the world really looks like. Unlike his memories engraved in his soul, it feels the beauty of another world. Non-toxic air, harmless environment, blue sky, white clouds no predators, no slavery, no. All of this was reflected in its scarlet eyes. Although he has just been born, this little devil already understands at this time how much the world that nurtures his evil soul, the endless abyss, is. A barren, twisted, terrifying and suffocating world. The outside world is so. Boom. Suddenly, a pair of huge legs made of steel suddenly stepped on its body. Countless bloods exploded violently, leaving only the devil's head that was still intact and flew backwards. In the confusion, the devil seemed to hear the cold laughter of those dwarfs in the war machine. That is rejection of them, that is disdain for them, that is creatures with a powerful civilization, and they are spurned by these evil and depraved souls. For some reason, a tyrannical thought appeared in the soul that was about to be turned into pieces. It originally longed to allow its own soul to go to this seemingly infinitely beautiful world, but now. Death is not the end. It will eventually return to that terrifying, abyss incubation pool, in the form of soul fragments, and after a series of terrifying, nurtures, it will return to this war as a warrior of the endless abyss. But now, it has changed its mind. Like other devils, it wants to destroy the world and destroy the world. Drag into the endless abyss, never to separate again. Above the devil's head, with the injection of a bullet, the eyes that had been, re, stained with hatred and tyranny slowly closed. And it will eventually return to this battlefield. After an hour. Ha 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 ha. The monsters that appeared this time are actually so fragile. Yeah, it scared me back then. Finally, the sturdy dwarves and dwarf warriors began to rest again out of breath. Most of the devil's cocoons that appeared before were exploded before they hatched, leaving only mucus and corpses all over the place. Even a few little devils who escaped by chance could not survive for a moment in the storm of firearms and metals. 
Therefore, there is no suspense, these warriors who defend their homeland have won a big victory. It's just that the black land seems to be getting bigger and bigger. It doesn't matter, we have powerful angels asylum, and they will send their own priests to help us clean up the filth from this place. Having said that, Taifei glanced at the grim-faced garrison, and threw the unfinished spirits in his hand with a smile. Hey, that buddy. Iron Felt had to change his words to say buddy because he forgot his name. Take advantage of the victory, have a drink. Bang. The jug smashed on the guard who stayed in place, then bounced off and hit the ground. The vigilante, who had a livid face before, suddenly stretched out his finger and pointed into the distance tremblingly. At this moment, the iron felt felt a strong ominous. He quickly turned his head to look. At the same time, more and more warriors have also noticed the abnormal of this garrison. In an instant, an emotion called despair poured into the hearts of everyone present. A black-red vortex appeared above their plane. At the center of this black-red vortex, where the eye of the storm existed, an eye that represented the will of the endless abyss cast an indifferent and sarcastic look at them. And below the black and red vortex is the endless cocoon of devil. These devil's cocoons are springing up like mushrooms after a rain, constantly emerging in the soil. On their bodies, black and red patterns are engraved, and these patterns become more and more clear as the cocoons creep but their shells are becoming more and more transparent. The sturdy bodies of each devil are becoming more and more clearly visible. Moreover, this time, the number of devil's cocoons, even the magician can't count it quickly. Squeak. Finally, a little devil emerged from the cocoon. It raised its head, looked at the world, looked at the creatures of this world. Different from the past, this time it was just born, and its eyes were full of tyranny and hatred. It will take this plane. Drag into the endless abyss. To the angels who serve you, pray. Engine of war. Observation room. Wait, how can Chu Hao have so many soldiers? A tutor was shocked by the scene in front of him and was speechless. In the picture, on a planet where dwarves and gnomes live together, a dwarf city with a population of tens of thousands was destroyed by the endless stream of devils from the endless abyss in just a few hours. This city with dozens of different types of workshops, a complete city wall, surrounded by muskets and steel, is actually so vulnerable in front of the tide-like devil. None of these devils are even higher than legendary. In the picture of the observation room, a dwarf holding a broken gun was kneeling beside a dwarf corpse, holding its hand, facing the position of the angel statue in the city, crying and praying. And beside him, there are soldiers struggling with the devils everywhere. The roar of each explosive bomb represented the death of a dwarf and several devils. Every self-destruction of a war machine represents the last stubbornness of a dwarf. But outside the city wall behind the dwarf, on the black earth that is expanding infinitely, there are high-level devils that are coming one after another. Whether his prayers work or not, the city will be ruled by devil in the future visible to the naked eye. In the center of the city, the face of the holy angel statue, I don't know when it started, and gradually it was stained with a little filth from the flesh and blood of those people. For some reason, this filth makes this statue look like more anger and pity. It stood in the center of the city, watching its own city. Dragged into the abyss, such a tragic scene made many mentors feel a little pity inexplicably. But soon, the mentors who had seen such scenes too often put it behind them. After all, they who have a stronger God's domain, the things they have seen are far more cruel than they are now. God, after all, will not cry because of mortals. How did he do this? Chu Hao can bring out so many warriors at once. A mentor connected another screen, this time, an elf city was under attack. Although the environments and races of the two sides are completely different, the attacks they endure are the same. The endless devil, with a terrifying breath, destroyed their homes little by little. Moreover, more and more pictures also show that the number of these attacked cities is still increasing. And the growing number of those, black spots. Just as much. Facing such a scene, Wang Ji was also silent. He immediately mobilized his own beliefs and checked Chu Hao's position. He wants to know what happened in the endless abyss, and why it can burst out such a terrifying number of soldiers. But in the next moment, he was stunned. In his picture, there is darkness. There is only one eye hidden in the darkness, looking back at him indifferently. He can't see the scene inside Chu Hao's endless abyss. 
Not only him, but all the curious mentors found themselves unable to see any scenes in the Chuhao Divine World with the help of the school system. At this time, on the periphery of the endless abyss, a thick layer of plain crystal wall blocked anyone's peeping. Such a scene is something that every instructor has never imagined. Wait, our vision is blocked. Chu Hao has become a lower god and completely blocked the sea of his own soul. Everyone can do this only when they become the next gods and actually ascend to the throne of God. Since the location of the divine realm world is hidden in the depths of everyone's mind, on weekdays, the tutors rely on the help of the school system to inquire about the divine realm world of each graduate without being blocked. But now, in the endless abyss of Chu Hao, there is a thick layer of darkness, no matter how they observe, they cannot see the scene. Such a scene made all the mentors, at this moment, think that Chu Hao had left the mortal world and had completely entered the ranks of the gods. But, no, Chu Hao, he hasn't ascended to God yet. Wang Ji said decisively that he saw Chu Hao's strangeness earlier than other mentors. He is just using the rules, using some kind of dark rules, to protect his world of God's domain from being perceived. He's preparing for defense. Defense. Hearing this, the rest of the instructors were stunned. Isn't he in the offensive stage now? Right. Looking at the current state, he seems to have the upper hand. All the mentors showed puzzled expressions. Yeah, Chu Hao what the hell is he defending against? Inside the principal's office, Bai Chen is staring at the assessment world, and he has a panoramic view of everything. As the first substitute of the main god, her strength is undeniable. Although this war seems to be so grand that it spans the galaxy and the world, in her eyes, it is not difficult to observe everything in this world. Suddenly, pictures appeared, finally causing Bai Chen's eyes to move slightly. Finally coming. In the picture, an orc warrior covered in blood and scars was hugging an orc female warrior whose half-body was infected by abyss creatures, kneeling in front of an angel portrait, weeping powerlessly. Great angel, please save her. At this moment, the body of this orc female warrior is constantly growing a worm-like tail. Although she appeared on the surface, only half of her body was infected. But in fact, her abdomen, her internal organs are all rapidly distorted. Even the blood she vomited was turning into little bugs, screaming and wanting to live in the sun. Angel, please save me. In another image, a lizardfolk warrior kneels before a portrait of another angel, praying. Angel, Please purify these sins. In another image, a genie is doing the same prayer. Angel, angel, angel. Finally, countless prayers, countless prayers, turned into beliefs and integrated into a place that cannot be told. And these voices finally disturbed those sleeping powerful beings. Assessing the world, in the face of the threat of the devil army, after facing countless cities turned into a sea of fire, finally. Angry. Boom. The messengers of the angels have finally brought back the oracle. The most loyal servants of the Lord will be the first to wake up and completely remove all the filth in this world. Then the angels, at the behest of our common Lord, wake up and return. Quote, quote. The long-closed dragon nest of the dragons was reopened, and the dragons began to reappear and began to roar in the air. The world tree of the elf sacred land has bloomed again, and while the pollen is flying, one tree man has pulled out its own roots. In a tunnel in the Orc Canyon, a beast opened its own eyes, and it smelled the stench from the fallen soul. In an abandoned laboratory in the world of dwarves and gnomes, the Dusty War machines have also been restarted. On these 13 planets, all the mythical creatures and ancient technologies that have been sleeping for a long time, finally. Awakened by the footsteps of the Abyss Devil. But that's not the point. Chu Hao raised his head, and his gaze turned to the 14th planet, which was on the White Planet. On that planet, a pair of eyes looked through the endless darkness and looked towards a corner of the endless abyss. Just when countless abyss armies were raging on the entire 13 planets, they were far away from the entrance of the space-time channel in the assessment world. What's going on with this space channel? Knight Matt looked at the space-time passage in front of him in horror, and whispered to the surrounding knights. In fact, he was not the only one who said this. He, and the soldiers around him, and even the millions of troops behind them, were also whispering like him. Not only them, but even the generals standing in front of them are communicating with each other and expressing their doubts. What's the situation? Why did the space-time channel become like this? And, 
At this time, the space-time channel has changed from a dazzling golden yellow to a pitch black black channel with a foul smell. Even in the outermost layer of this passage, there is still a cloud of pitch black mist. These mists dissipated quickly, and more mists were brought in. In the whole passage, there is silence. Even the sign of the second transmission did not light up for a long time. Faced with this situation, their second team that was about to enter the endless abyss felt extremely terrified. What happened in the tunnel? Several generals asked their own questions. But right now, boom, boom, two consecutive huge crashing sounds appeared at the end of the passage. These two huge collisions sounded like someone smashed the hearts of these soldiers with a hammer. All the soldiers raised their weapons in unison, aiming at the end of the space-time channel. Boom. Suddenly, the door of the space-time passage was kicked out by something forcefully. At this moment, this gate full of gorgeous spells has become like scrap metal, easily twisted by this huge force. Then, an endless black fog emerged from the passage. The endless black fog, which soon represented the will of a low-dimensional world, slowly approached the group of warriors who were about to enter the endless abyss. Ah! Just as a newer soldier was about to attack out of fear, the captain beside him suddenly grabbed his arm. Stop. That's it. Marshal Thales. Hearing this, the panic in the soldier's eyes was swept away. Sure enough, in the black fog, Marshal Thales had emerged from the fog. Not only him, but the rest of the generals immediately became excited. Marshal Thales. It's really good that you're okay. Master Marshal, what happened in the space-time tunnel? Marshal Thales, Marshal Thales. As Marshal, Tails, approached step by step, more and more footsteps appeared from behind him. But when a gust of wind blew, all the people present were stunned. Because the so-called Marshal Thales has only one head left. A head held by Elrond. What a shit Marshal. Elrond raised his head, revealing half of his rotten but rapidly recovering face, and sneered at the soldiers and generals in front of him. Just like me in the past, you mistakenly promoted him to a height that did not belong to him, and mistakenly regarded him as the messenger of the gods. On the lower part of Eldrin's body, numerous spider-like limbs covered with bone spurs grew. His expression at the moment was extremely distorted, as if expressing his own resentment. But it's different now. The one I serve now is the real god, and the one behind me is the one. Boom. 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 With the sound of footsteps, in the black mist, one after another legendary peak devil appeared. And beside these legendary peak devils, there are greedy and ugly little devils one after another, they are wearing the weapons and armors taken from the fallen soldiers at this time. Even at this moment, there is still a lot of blood dripping. The messenger of the true god. Click. Click. All the soldiers looked desperately behind these devils. Because they die. You will never forget what you saw in this moment. A world that looks like a black and red vortex is gradually approaching the universe where they are located. On the surface of this black-red world, strips of tentacles made of black mist are popping out quickly, and they are firmly grasping on the universe where they are. And as this twisted, terrifying world draws nearer to them, the crystal walls of their worlds are shattering more and more seriously. Countless black cracks appeared behind these devils. In addition to the rules of space, the endless abyss finally had the opportunity to start corrupting the rest of the rules of the assessment world. At the end of the space-time passage, in front of the million soldiers, despair is coming quietly. But, in the huge world of assessment, there will always be a place where the flame of hope will burn. Like, Black Bone Dragon Nest. One of the common habitats of red dragons and black dragons, a terrifying area where two mythical creatures inhabit at the same time. Dragon, flame. With the appearance of dragon language magic, thousands of little devils turned into ashes without even groaning in pain. Even their corpses, after being turned into ashes, are still burning under the power of dragon flames. This is no ordinary flame, this is the deadly dragon flame emitted by the mythical creature, the black dragon Osiris. These terrifying dragon flames with regular power will frantically burn your soul even after you die. No matter how your soul struggles and howls, it cannot avoid the pain caused by these dragon flames, and it will last until your soul is completely reduced to pieces. Humph. The black dragon Osiris looked at the black mud under his feet in disgust. Do these ugly monsters whose souls have fallen to the end, even if they die, will they leave behind a filth that is difficult to clean up?
Really? It's annoying. As he spoke, Osiris sprayed dragon flames directly at his feet. In less than a moment, the black earth corrupted by devil's blood returned to normal again. Of course, the plants that once survived above can no longer return to normal. Osiris, stop complaining. The giant dragon Velik, who looked like a diamond all over his body, shook his, shiny, head. Just now, in just ten minutes, it annihilated all tens of thousands of little devils, and at the same time, there were also those, fallen people, who had bowed down to the endless abyss. I didn't expect such a thing to happen when I woke up. Our world was invaded by a group of fallen people. Velik sighed. How many years has it been? The bloodlines we left in the past seem to be getting thinner and thinner, and it is estimated that their strength is getting worse and worse. Hearing this, Osiris became even more irritable. This group of trash, after I drive these fallen people out of the world, I will clean up those bloodline descendants. Thoroughly clean up those useless bloodline branches. Who knows, when he heard this, Willick laughed. Don't do that yet. The dragon Velik raised his own wings and flew into the sky. In the half-destroyed city not far away, countless civilians with dragon bloodline immediately knelt down in the direction of the giant dragon, chanting words in their mouths. There is no shortage of words such as, great, and, envoy. Although I don't care about these so-called descendants, I still enjoy their humble attitude at this time. The giant dragon Velik lowered his head and looked at these ordinary people with a happy expression. In the half-destroyed city, countless people are calling out the name of the giant dragon Velik with the same enthusiasm for angels. Their calls are like waves, wave after wave. Their attitude is enough to show their piety. In their eyes, we are their hope. The giant dragon Velik looked at the devil army in the distance with a look of disdain. Assessing the true background of the world, those powerful mythical creatures have quietly awakened, and the horn of counterattack has sounded. The abyss came with despair, but the flame of hope of the other party never went out. It is a battle of despair and hope. But, the collision of two worlds, but only one world can survive. In the eyes of the gods, the creatures in the world of God's domain are all their own playthings, and they are all livestock that they keep in captivity. They are born because of their own needs, so such creatures. It's all a bunch of idiots. From birth, they have been blinded by the lies of, gods, so that they cannot see the truth of the world. Although there is some truth to this, are they really stupid? Not necessarily. At the bottom of the endless abyss, Chu Hao raised his head. Even if they are deceived, they will fight to the death for the survival of their own world because of their survival instinct. At this moment, the endless abyss is already close to the world of assessment. A black-red vortex is slowly dragging the golden air mass into own body. And like this, the counterattack launched by them will be extremely terrifying. They will use all means to destroy the existence that threatens their world. Over a city attached to a small dragon's nest. Dragon, fire. Dragon, storm. In the sky of the dragon's nest world, Osiris crushed one devil legion into powder with an absolutely unquestionable power. Even the abyss native devil in the legendary stage could not survive even a minute under his dragon language magic. Only the devils at the pinnacle of legend can force a powerless counterattack under his dragon flames. But even this kind of counterattack, in front of a powerful as it is, it seems so pale and powerless. Humph. Fallen. An unimaginable look of disgust erupted from Osiris' golden vertical pupils. Boom. It suddenly fell from the air and stepped on a legendary Balrog who was dominating the city under its own feet. At this moment, this Balrog erupted with unimaginable power, and countless lava and flames erupted from its body, and instantly swept Osiris's body. But when the flames and smoke dissipated, Osiris wore black scales and showed a look of disdain for this Balrog. As someone with the power of flames, he would not be afraid of these flames that looked like flames to him. Dirty creature of another world, are you ready for death? A little spark erupted from Osiris' mouth. There was a hint of cruelty in its eyes. It is ready to let this guy who dared to pollute his own land be completely annihilated here. But right now, ah. Uh, the arrow hit his eyelids. Ding. The funny thing is that this arrow, even its scales can't break the defense, only after making a metal collision sound, it falls to the ground weakly. Quote exclamation mark quote. The furious Osiris stomped on the beholder's head with one foot, letting the other party's lava blood and the poison contained in it spill over him. 
Who is it? Osiris turned his head, it had been thoroughly provoked. But when he turned around, he was surprised to find that he attacked his own. It was actually a dragon blood warrior who once had his own bloodline. This dragon blood warrior has already been corrupted by the corrupt aura of the endless abyss at this moment. On the scales on its body, one after another wriggling sarcoma appeared, and inside its body, a phenomenon similar to attribution began to appear due to the disorder of blood vessels. This dragon blooded warrior, because of his own cowardice and too long contact with devil in the previous battle, caused the most tragic thing to happen. Its soul is already the property of the endless abyss. But even so, under such circumstances, Osiris can still clearly feel the blood in the opponent's body. That's own blood. And it is such an existence that has its own blood and can only serve and look up to it. Just now, it actually launched an attack on the great Osiris. You this. Out of rage, Osiris slapped the opponent with his thick claws. The other party and the black earth where the other party is located were shot into ashes together. Falling bugs. But in the next moment, even Osiris, who only knew about fighting, noticed something was wrong. In the city affiliated to the dragon nest where he is located, all the living creatures have begun to attack him. Whether it was those devils who were sent over by the endless abyss, or those, civilians, who survived by chance, they all attacked him at this moment. And at this moment, Osiris finally found something strange. The city it originally wanted to, save, has completely fallen. The entire city now belongs to another, civilization. Facing the attack like sea water, Osiris did not do any defense at all. It arrogantly walked past the crowd, grabbed several, infected, dragon blood warriors, and began to check. How is it possible? In the depths of their souls, they are all corrupted. At this point, it's in perspective. Deep in the souls of these dragon blooded warriors, the place where the seed of faith resides is already a mass of darkness. These guys are helpless. They are all fallen. This is the horror of the endless abyss. All the land that devils attacked and stayed in will leave behind an abyss that is difficult to clear. The blood of devils, no, devils are the, families, favored by the endless abyss. They are just the existence itself, and they can make a piece of land continue to be corrupted. In the depths of their souls, the imprint of the endless abyss is engraved. And after the land of the other worlds is corrupted by devil, if there is life on it, then they are equivalent to having a close and intimate contact with the endless abyss in their own world. Ordinary creatures cannot resist the corruption of the endless abyss. At this moment, Osiris finally understood. It doesn't make any sense to clean up these fallen monsters now. He violently squeezed the dragon blood soldiers in his hands into a pool of blood. Then, he blasted off into the air, roaring in the air. The next moment, the terrifying dragon flame swept the whole city. This city attached to the dragon's nest turned into burning ashes in an instant. And Osiris also raised his head and looked into the distance. Above the border of their world, a black and red vortex is approaching their world. If I want to completely solve this disaster, I must destroy the world itself first. And there are more and more existences who have the same idea as him. More and more powerful warriors finally discovered a terrifying truth in the struggle with devil. That is, all the land invaded by devils can no longer be recaptured by force. Even if it is recaptured, these lands will lose all use value due to the characteristics of the endless abyss. If they want to win the war, then they, the powerhouses in the assessment world, must take the lead in destroying the source that corrupts the soul. Endless abyss. What Chu Hao wants to defend is the counterattack of these powerful creatures. But at the same time, countless traps have also been laid just waiting for this group of furious souls to step into them. At this moment, in the assessment world, after many powerful creatures discovered the strangeness of the endless abyss, they immediately made a decision. Centered on various powerful creatures, they reformed several powerful legions, regrouped in the form of legions, and used various methods to reshape small space-time channels. Among these powerful creatures, there are descendants of the world tree, real pure-blooded dragons, and even native beasts of the orc world. And below them, is their real direct line legion. They have to go to the heart of the endless abyss before their own world is completely corrupted. They want to completely destroy this corrupted, twisted world. And such a force can destroy any graduate's fragile world of God's domain. 
Such a performance of strength is enough to make anyone worry about what happened to Chu Hao. In the observation room, Wang Ji unconsciously clenched his fists. In the principal's office, Bai Chen frowned. Everyone wants to know, the endless abyss, this new world. Can you resist and gather a counter-offensive from the peak of a powerful world power? The bottom of the endless abyss. It's started. I don't know if it's a coincidence. In all worlds, the more powerful creatures are, the easier they are to be inadvertently attracted by the endless abyss. Even if the opponent is an enemy. Chu Hao raised his head. The countless blood vessels behind him that were condensed by the black mist gradually fell off its back. Chu Hao said lightly, with the shedding of these vessels, his mental state was also rapidly repairing. Then, he snapped his fingers and transferred himself to the plane where Yu Mu was. This powerful creature with a body the size of half a plane has been in a deep sleep since before the war began. But it woke up from its slumber immediately after the arrival of Chu Hao, the Abyss Master. The pairs of Yuemu's eyes, representing the disaster, gradually opened. He's going to start killing. But just when the most powerful creatures in the assessment world left their own assessment world and went to the endless abyss. On the original planets in the assessment world, they are accelerating their fall. The influence of the endless abyss is spreading to every place with intelligent creatures. As the endless abyss gradually approached this world, the most terrifying phenomenon finally appeared on the planet closest to the endless abyss. Devil's whispers begin to appear on all those who are not determined. Those areas where the devil did not come, also had the same situation as when the devil invaded. More and more people, crazy, don't want, moreover. In a certain village, an alien boy in linen clothes was curled up in his own, kennel. The kennel here is not a modifier. It's a real doghouse. This young man is the descendant of a sinner who blasphemed against an angel. As a descendant of sinners, he needs generations to atone for the sins of his ancestors. They need to atone for their sin by eating the worst food, doing the most vile work, and living in the most humiliating place. Before the war between the endless abyss and the assessment world, this young man always believed that the reason why he was so miserable was because he was destined. After all, according to the words of the bishop who has been whipping him, this is the original sin he has brought with him since he was born. You are full of sins. The whip fell, and there was an extra whip mark on the boy's back. The seven virtues that the angels have blessed were lost when your ancestors fell. The whip fell, and there was another whip mark on the boy's back. Only if you have experienced these hardships and proved yourself, can you finally let your own soul return to the embrace of an angel. Whip falls. This was the last sentence the boy heard before he fell into a coma the day before yesterday. But don't know when to start. The comatose teenager came into contact with a real angel. This beautiful angel enlightened him from a very long distance. Her words, like a magic voice, made the young man hear clearly. No one is born with original sin. All suffering comes from others. The angel said with a smile. The world you live in is hypocritical. If you let me come, all this can be corrected. All living beings, since birth, have no so-called virtues, only nature. And my arrival can let all people liberate the nature in their hearts. The boy asked suspiciously, but how should I let you come? The angel smiled and said with the blood of sinners who lashed you. Hearing this, the boy woke up. He immediately understood that this was a nightmare, a nightmare that tempted him to fall. Life goes on, suffering, starving, and so on. But whenever he fell asleep, or passed out in a coma, that angel will explain to him the degenerate, terrible book of poetry. And he is also struggling between admitting his own sin and not admitting it. Finally, after the day-to-day -day torture, the teenager became scrawny and collapsed in his kennel. Don't say it anymore. What should I do? The alien boy opened his bloodshot eyes and looked at nothingness. And the existence in nothingness, in the gentlest language, answered him with a terrible answer. After the teenager heard this, he raised his head and looked at the church in the village. A day later. The nearest knights came to this village, ready to resupply. But to their surprise, the whole village was covered in blood. It's like, this place has been invaded by beasts. And all the bloodstains point to the church dedicated to angels. When the group of knights carefully pushed open the half-destroyed door of the church, what they saw was this scene. 
a group of the most despicable descendants of sinners, only worthy of living in a kennel, or standing in the blood, praying towards the front of the church. However, the scriptures they prayed for were not the seven virtues blessed by angels, but the seven deadly sins of living beings. What is even more terrifying is that the descendants of this group of sinners worship a statue made of corpses. Devil statue. Here, it has been reduced to a fallen place with devil worship. The teenagers are still chanting. Pride, jealousy, greed. When they heard the sound, they turned their heads and looked at the terrified knight, gentleman, who had been riding on their heads all the time, showing the fangs that belong to devil. And in their eyes, it is the same as the abyss creatures. Scarlet. Devil, is everywhere, it is hidden in everyone's heart. What a twisted world is this. The dragon Velik accidentally stepped on the corpse of an abyssal creature that had just died. The next moment, a disgusting feeling, came to its heart along its scales. To be honest, as the most dazzling dragon in the entire dragon nest, Velik felt that he was in the endless abyss and could not stay any longer. Not only is the land so disgusting and twisted, but even the creatures here are such twisted and disgusting freaks. Velik roared, and fired a burst of wind bullets in his mouth towards some indescribable abyss creature peeking at it in the distance. I don't know when it started. We started to lose contact with each other one by one. I don't know what happened to Osiris and Fuerte the ancient tree. This world, everything is so chaotic. Our ability, we can't distinguish the laws of space here, it's too easy to get separated. Seeing the other party blowing into a muddy water in such a distant place, Willick's mood calmed down. Anyway, be careful with Velik. A giant beast with a body like a wild boar opened its mouth and said to Velik beside him. I feel that the weirdest thing in this world is. The power surging in my body is rapidly weakening. This huge beast, as a real mythical creature, can show a powerful terrifying power in the gesture of gestures. This is the power that it obtained from the origin of the world as soon as it was born. This is something that cannot be plundered by any existence other than the creator. With power, it can exert its mighty strength and crush all daring and hostile enemies. Even, with the power in his hand, he can also branch his own power, of course, it can only be a branch, and assign it to the race he admires, such as the orc family. After sharing a branch of their power, the orcs will grow stronger. Among the few orcs who have mastered more branches of power, in addition to easily breaking through the legendary stage, they will be given various honorary titles such as, Blood of Giant Beasts. In short, these powers are the foundation of the power of this vast beast. It is also the capital that it can use as an angel subordinate to shelter an entire planet. But now, its power seems to be gradually disappearing. As soon as it entered this dark, depraved and twisted and chaotic world, its power was gradually weakening. Although the magnitude of these power declines is so small that it is almost imperceptible. However, such a loss of power is indeed real. But how is this possible? A power, but it represents the existence of a rule incarnation. Can this world still? The giant beast raised its head and looked at the red sky above this plane. The black-red vortex appeared at an unknown time, and its eyes were full of doubts. Can this world still dissolve the power of rules and authority? The giant beast shook his head and walked forward with pillar-like steps. I found the entrance to the next plane. Velik suddenly roared and pointed to a dark and deep tunnel not far ahead. The behemoth nodded, and together with Velik, walked into the dark tunnel that spiraled downward, like the entrance to the underworld. In the plane that has lost the standard at this time, Velik and the giant beast have come to a new layer of endless abyss. Ah, uh, the environment on this plane is even worse than before. Willick raised his head and said impatiently. This plane is a decaying plane surrounded by an acidic ocean, resembling a large swamp environment. As soon as he entered here, Velik immediately felt a sense of discomfort, a sense of discomfort surrounding his heart. Be careful. Suddenly, the giant beast beside Velik shouted loudly. And the next moment, a terrifyingly large, sea monster, swooped out of those acidic oceans, stretched out its terrifying tentacles, and entangled Vilik. Moreover, there is more than one such monster. There are five or six such monsters on the coast next to the entire swamp. They are the ocean in the endless abyss, the abyss Leviathan. As soon as he was entangled by these tentacles, Vilik immediately screamed in pain. These monsters are actually corrosive. 
on his body, those scales that are invulnerable to all poisons and prevent everything, were actually corroded by the tentacles in the hands of these monsters. And after these scales were damaged, the tentacles of this monster were still greedily sucking his blood. In the eyes of the other party, Willick saw the other party's greed for his own blood. It longs for own blood. It thirsts for the blood of stronger creatures. Roar. Seeing that more and more monsters were about to entangle Velik, the giant beast shot. It stomped on its limbs and slammed directly towards those monsters. Don't look at his body as big as a mountain, but its speed at this moment is so fast that a sonic boom appears. In just an instant, these leviathan tentacles were immediately broken. Even, the abdomen of a leviathan who rushed in was smashed from the middle by the giant beast, and fell into the swamp screaming. Leviathan's blood and flesh with traces of toxins immediately covered the entire swamp. In an instant, I don't know if it was because of the blood spilling. In the entire swamp, a large number of small creatures appeared, rushing to the direction of those blood. The number of these small creatures is so numerous that Velik's scalp tingles. Dragon Blast with the emergence of dragon whisper magic, a large piece of these small monsters died immediately, and the rest of the small monsters were stunned for a moment. Taking advantage of this moment, Velik bit the other leviathan tightly, no matter how hard it struggled, it wouldn't stop. Click. The sharp mouth of the mythical dragon is not a leviathan with the strength of the legendary stage, it can be matched. With a crisp sound, the head of this leviathan was bitten to pieces by Velik. Brains and blood spilled all over the dazzling dragon. Pooh. What a filthy creature. However, although they look terrible, their strength is ridiculously weak. Seeing the, retreating, leviathan, Velik laughed. Wait, Velik, I feel it. The giant beast said loudly. My strength, one more point, and I'm kind of ominous. Before he could finish speaking, Willik was surprised to find out. In this plane, all creatures are starting to stay away from him. Whether it is a powerful leviathan or a weak small abyss creature. Haha, ha, are you afraid? At this time, these abyss creatures are using the still rudimentary abyss language to communicate a vocabulary with each other in vague voices. And this term is, monster, monster. And not only them, but all the creatures of this plane are in horror, saying this word in the vague, abyss language. Monster. In an instant, Velik discovered that the ocean, which was still acidic before, was suddenly corroded by something. A dark quagmire appeared on the sea in front of them. Then, an existence that was considered a monster from any angle, tried to come to this world, and came here with him. And also, a huge black dragon wearing black shackles. Osiris. Osiris. You. How dare you fall so far. When Velik saw the moment Osiris appeared, he immediately understood. This powerful black dragon actually betrayed its own world, betrayed the teachings of the former angel, and turned to work for this twisted world. The twisted black shackles on it are the proof of his depravity. The so-called yoke is actually a sign of its power and transformation. At this moment, Willick was furious to the extreme after seeing this scene. He couldn't believe that his former friend dared to betray the world he guarded. The giant dragon Velik who was in a rage, did not care about the dissuasion of the giant beast around him, so he was ready to charge straight towards Osiris. Quote exclamation mark quote. But he forgot that, no matter how corrupt Osiris was, it came here this time, not on its own. It followed, another stronger being came here with it. This is. Before Velik could rush over, there was a, monster, too large to describe in words on the acid sea surface that had been corrupted, on the black swamp corroded by terrifying toxins and unknown elements. Slowly crawled into this world. This monster has eight completely different heads, which represent the eight different powers it possesses. Toxin, corrosion, pollution, disaster. And the faces of its eight heads are covered with twisted black giant horns. Its eyes are filled with the tyranny and indifference unique to the creatures of the abyss. And the moment it came, this plane began to decline. The entire plane was transformed into a black swamp full of toxins as it descended. Its name in the abyss is. Yu Mu. The first mythical creature in the endless abyss, existence is the representative of disaster. The moment Velik saw this monster, his heart froze. It finally knows why those abyss creatures are desperately escaping from here. They have long known that if they stay here, they will be killed by the toxins produced by the other party inadvertently. 
There is also a gap between mythical creatures. Yu Mu's strength has surpassed Velik's imagination. Quote quote. Yu Mu lowered his head and silently glanced at the little guy, Willik. But with such an ordinary glance, Velik immediately felt that in his own soul, something solid was rapidly decaying. It's faith, it's courage, it's. At this time, the dragon Velik was suddenly attacked by Osiris. Ha ha, Willik. Osiris suddenly rushed up, grabbed Velik's wings, and said through gritted teeth. Do you know now why I am willing to betray? No, I'm not betrayal. Velik unleashed a terrifying dragon magic and splattered fiercely at Osiris's face. In an instant, countless storms accompanied by elements of destruction successfully destroyed half of Osiris' cheeks, leaving countless scars. But Osiris, it just sneered. Then, in the next second, there were countless tiny granulation buds on Osiris's face that were hard to see with the naked eye. After these granulation buds appeared, they immediately repaired Osiris' body. I just figured it out, to serve another, more powerful being. Osiris grinned, opened his face that had become extremely distorted, and launched his own counterattack. Abyss Dragon Language Flame. In an instant, Willick saw a scene that made it unbelievable. The red flame that Osiris spewed out, which used to burn everything, turned black now. The dragon flame of sacred, which once made countless mortals feel awe, turned into an evil, filthy, turbid existence like muddy water at this moment. But at the moment when such turbid, flames, were sprayed onto Velik's scales, it felt extreme pain that could not be described in words. Its scales were not burnt, but below these scales, Velik's flesh and blood were infected in a large area. After countless black muddy water flames sprayed onto its flesh and blood, they immediately burned to a deeper place like maggots attached to bones. And all the flesh and blood burned by these flames have all turned into piles of tiny parasites. These parasites began to quickly eat every piece of Velik's flesh and blood that was still intact, without stopping. Ow! Velik screamed, trying to push Osiris away, and then repairing his own body through the power of power. But Osiris didn't have any intention of loosening it, but just coldly erupted a new twisted dragon flame again. These extreme pains penetrated deeply into all of Velik's senses and could not be dissolved. Ha 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 ha. You see, this is the new master I serve, an endless abyss that is too great to describe in words. Osiris' cheeks have been repaired, but they are not what they used to be. This time, after its face was repaired, it regrew, with uneven black fangs, black and red scales, and hundreds of tiny round eyes of different sizes that were full of tyranny. Under the gaze of the great endless abyss, I will no longer be bound by any rules, nor will I be bound by any moral baggage. I can get everything I want with my own strength without relying on those angels and creators. Territory. Resources. The service of mortal things. Even those old fools, the power that they hold tightly. I killed the boring old tree, I killed the old snake that only talked nonsense, and I killed the mother of the rotten unicorn. All their powers belong to me. Watch it, Velik. My current powerful posture. While speaking, Osiris finally showed its terrifying form. On its sturdy back, countless tentacles like branches grew. The tail behind it began to have forks, and on each fork was a twisted snake head. On its dragon head, the original dragon's horns began to fall off replaced by a right angle covered with black patterns. It's it's. And all of this originally belonged to other mythical creatures. You fallen monster. Jick, save me. In desperation, Velik, who was suppressed by Osiris, instinctively began to call for help toward the giant beast in the distance. But, this giant beast called Jike suddenly made a surrender gesture towards Yu Mew. This giant beast the size of a mountain actually surrendered at this moment. However, the object of its real surrender is not Yu Mew, but the dark fog on Yu Mew's head, and the dark fog that hides itself in the dark fog. Chu Hao. Seeing this scene, Velik roared sadly. Jik, what the hell are you doing? It couldn't believe that this, beast spirit, famous for its simple mind, actually made such a, stupid, action at this moment. Do you also want to betray the world you guard? Betray the creator who taught you and gave birth to you? Velik's scream resounded throughout the plain. That's the world you swore to protect. Where are your people, there are. To shut up. Before he finished speaking, Osiris, who became more powerful, slammed Velik's head into the sea covered with acidic water. In fact, 
Gek, the mountain beast, didn't even have the heart to listen to Velik's wailing at this moment. It just trembled, appeared in front of Yu Mu with a gesture of surrender, and raised its own question to the group of Chu Hao who represented the will of the endless abyss on Yu Emu's head. Not only did it keep its own fangs, it even kept its own tail as close as possible. If I really become a member of this world, then. Jike stammered and said to Chu Hao, Can I really get more power? No matter how much. Quote, quote. Chu Hao didn't reply, just remained calm and silent. I want the power of a wind practitioner in Velik. I, I want the rock affinity power of the mountain giant. GK became more anxious after seeing that Chu Hao did not refuse, but did not agree either. I, I still want more land, I want my people to truly worship me, instead of pretending to worship those angels and creators. I still want, I still want. At this time, Chu Hao was still speechless and silent. He felt bored. After all, in his eyes, these mighty creatures are just trivial things. Compared to the endless divine way he wanted. The pursuit of these mythical creatures, in his eyes, is as ridiculous as children clamoring for candy. Go, Yu Mu. Chu Hao, who thought that the two mythical creatures here might need Yu Mu's shot, finally said his first sentence when he came here. After that, Yu Mu, who has been without any movement since his appearance, finally moved. After seeing that Yu Mu was about to leave, Jike became even more anxious, a storm-like gas snorted from its nose, and the whole beast was restless. But at this moment, from Chu Hao's side, a black shackle appeared. This shackle slowly floated to the beast spirit Jike's side, like the apple in front of Eve's eyes, tempting him all the time. Chu Hao activates the power of space and prepares to bring Yu Mu to the assessment world. Before he left, he only left a faint word to the beast spirit Jike. Prove yourself. The beast spirit Jike was stunned for a moment, but under the crowd of unknown when it was born, it still took the initiative to contact this chain that represents the present and the shackle that represents freedom in the future. And at the moment when this Shackle, was linked to it, in the depths of its soul sea, the whispers from the abyss resounded from it. The knowledge from the endless abyss was given to the heart of this beast spirit that had not yet completely fallen. I understand. The beast spirit Jike lowered his head, showing his fangs. Then he aimed at Velik, who was barely in a ball with Osiris in the distance, and attacked. In the next instant, Velik felt extreme pain, and most of his back was broken by Jike. Its wings were also torn in half by Osiris grinning. At this moment, in addition to Osiris and Geek, Velik finally understood one thing, and understood what kind of environment was in the endless abyss. There is no such thing as benevolence and morality here. This is the place where friendship, family, and love are wiped out, leaving only the evil place of betrayal and destruction. In the face of the terrifying temptation of the endless abyss, all good morals seem so fragile. The dragon Velik is about to die, but against that endless abyss, but you will get two new pets. The ancestor of the beasts that evolved the beasts and the original abyss dragon. Almost, Chu Hao said lightly. At this moment, he has brought Yu Mu himself to the assessment world, a planet that is closest to the endless abyss. And this planet has now been captured by the endless abyss. It's time to wake up. So many deaths, so many prayers, even if you need time to activate, you should wake up. On this planet captured by the endless abyss, indescribable wars have broken out everywhere. The alien races who believe in angels are splitting into two waves and starting a brutal war. But no matter how they fought, they couldn't reverse a basic fact. That is, the dark side of this planet, the side close to the endless abyss. Everything on this planet is shattering. The land above it is being drawn into the endless abyss little by little, turning into its land. The corrupted people on it are cheering and welcoming the embrace from the abyss. Their souls will perish forever. But on the contrary, more and more people who still haven't given up their faith are facing a scene like a declaration of doomsday, and they begin their last prayers. Don't know if their prayers worked, the change, it really happened. Quote exclamation mark quote. Chu Hao raised his head and looked into the distance. At this moment, the center of the assessment world, the white planet, began to turn. After I don't know how many years have passed, it finally started to turn again. And one after another transparent, halo, with an unknown structure, but as it rotates, it gradually expands into the entire universe. 
and the rotation of the planet is getting faster and faster. As it rotates, something called belief is being attracted by these halos, making it more solid. Finally, the outer periphery of this white planet. Seven halos with different colors appeared. Their scope includes the interior of the entire universe. The sea of the soul of every living being is under its shroud. Above each halo, there are rune characters that Chu Hao can't distinguish, as well as the embodied characters of various rules. But Chu Hao can feel a little. That is, the endless abysses move to devour the planet was blocked. It was blocked by the auras of chastity, temperance, diligence, and generosity, which represented chastity, temperance, and generosity, and was forced to stop further erosion of this world. And under these halos, one after another of the regular creatures is being gradually materialized. Angel, maybe it's coming. Quote, quote. With the appearance of these seven halos, seven creatures embodied by the rules are gradually coming. And the basis for them to come is the prayers of all the alien races fighting against the devils in the entire assessment world. These huge numbers of alien races, even though they knew that they might be defeated, in devil's blasphemous whispers, they still used all means and chose to fight to the death with the endless abyss. But unfortunately, the world is still dominated by materialism. The beliefs of mortals, under devil's offensive, are not worth mentioning. No matter how loud the prayers of these alien races are, they still can't stop their homes from being burned down, they can't stop their own world, which is becoming the devil's lair, and it can't stop them from being destroyed. Butcher knives stretched out by devils. Angel, all my life, I have bowed down to you reverently. An alien knelt on the ground, holding a small statue of an angel whose face could not be seen clearly. Beside her, there are corpses everywhere. Here, there are her village chiefs, the knights she secretly loves, her neighbors, her friends, and. But right now, all of these small circles of her life lie on the ground silently. The whole village fell into a dead silence. Except for the occasional scream, she couldn't hear any sound. Except for the excited roars of the twisted, depraved and vile devils. I have never deviated from your teachings in my whole life. I work hard every day for myself, for the church, this is the diligence you teach. A devil saw the alien. Every time I see someone in distress, or when I encounter someone who is unfortunate, I lend a helping hand in time. This is the generosity of your teaching. Devil came over and aimed the weapon in his hand at the heart of the alien. I have never peeped into the lives of others, I have never envied the lives that others deserve, this is the tolerance you taught. Two lines of tears fell from the corners of the alien's eyes. So, I beg you, after my death, please take my soul, don't let my soul fall into the terrible world. Brush. When the alien opened her eyes again, she couldn't believe her own eyes. In front of her, stood a real, angel. Your soul belongs to the creator forever. This whole body, revealing a holy angel, said softly to the believer in front of him. And we are just the guides of your soul. Behind this alien, the devil was making a shrill scream, and its soul was being purified. This purification is the real purification. It begins with the flesh and ends with its true spirit. Its soul is being burned into nothingness. Once it is completely purified, its soul will not even have the chance to return to the endless abyss. Through the air, the angel stroked the alien's head and said with a smile. But now, your soul has not yet returned to the kingdom of heaven. Please keep fighting, for you, for your family, for everything. After speaking, the angel dissipated here and went to another person who was praying for rescue. And the alien stood up in a daze. Fighting. Can this weak guy really fight? The answer is yes. The alien stood up tremblingly, and then she saw dozens of devils, desecrating everything in this village. The next moment. Light. The endless rays of light made these devils scream. With the appearance of light, these devils, from the flesh to the soul, and even the true spirit, are dissolving. 10 Stage Divine Light Technique This alien, who was weak enough to be strangled just now, came into contact with the angel at the moment. Deep in the sea of her soul, it lit up. However, unlike Chu Hao, who ignited his own spiritual sea, in the depths of this alien's spiritual sea, a seed of faith, imprinted with powerful divine power is illuminating everything here. After the miracle of the angel's descent, she has transformed into a powerful warrior at the bishop level. This is a miracle. 
but even such a sensational miracle arises anywhere in the assessment world. On the battlefield, in the plain, in the city, in the mountains, at the sea. All believers who truly believe in the teachings of angels have the opportunity to become such beings. Their arrival has quickly reversed the battle situation in many places. The people who had gradually fallen into despair, under the organization of these people, restarted the counterattack. The nests occupied by devils were gradually destroyed under the illumination of the holy light. This world, under the shroud of the ring of virtue, is returning to the rule of angels, and evil will eventually be eliminated. The scale of victory is tilting. The other side. Hey, I really didn't expect that the core defense mechanism of this world has a hand. Chu Hao raised his head, looked at the seven angels standing above his sky, and showed a smile. These seven angels have no specific shape, indescribable, indescribable, and indescribable. But as long as they exist, it can be known that they are angels, at least. Represents, angel. Seven of them, each of them, were burning with flames of different colors. And these flame rays, behind them, formed one after another that resembled wings in a halo. The so-called final stage of the assessment world turned out to be a legend. First draft of an angel in the world of Paradise Mountain. As a well-known and powerful world of the gods, the image of angels in the mountains of heaven has long been deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. However, what Chu Hao saw at this time was exactly what the angels, or the creatures like angels whose rules were integrated with divine fire, looked like at the beginning. Thinking of this, Chu Hao's eyes immediately turned to the 14th planet in the assessment world. That one, a planet surrounded by a halo. I really want to know, what is the so-called gift in the planet after the fourth test of customs clearance, what kind of precious thing will it be? While Chu Hao was still greedily peeping at the treasure in the center of the planet, an angel suddenly raised the weapon in his hand and aimed it at Chu Hao. The angel, with no face and no specific image asked Chu Hao with a loud voice that the whole world could hear. Why did you create these extremely depraved creatures? On her sword, a blazing white flame was burning. What exactly do you take life for? Chu Hao, at this moment, is like being judged by a court. In front of him are the angels who are the incarnations of each of the seven virtues. And he himself, at this time, showed an evil and amusing smile to all the judges. You ask me what do I take life for? He raised his head, and in his black pupils, a black-red vortex was slowly spinning. Chu Hao stood above Yu Emu's head, looking at the judgment, like seen in front of him, and smiled. You ask me what do I take life for? These seven angels, standing in the air with their heads held high, looked down at Chu Hao, waiting for Chu Hao's defense. Awaiting, the defense of the master who nurtured the habitat of countless fallen souls. Life is just life. Chu Hao smiled wryly and sighed, speaking in a small but clear enough voice. Life is neither a miracle in the mouth of the gods, nor a miracle in the mouth of scientists. Life is just life. It's nothing special, but it's not that common either. At least among the various dimensions of the multiverse universe, life is not something rare. It is an inevitable evolution from countless accidents, and it is one of the possibilities born out of the impossible. Life is born by chance, but destroyed by necessity. I'm not a so-called philosopher, but in my eyes, life is just an ordinary to ordinary vocabulary. But then again, Chu Hao showed a disdainful look and looked at the angels that were constantly twisting and changing in the sky. I'm disappointed that you only raised this question. After being attacked by me, after seeing countless deaths in your sleep, you only want to ask me. What do I take life for? Really? Very disappointing. Your creator doesn't seem to be as smart as I thought. He was stupid, and he made you so stupid. After hearing this, the seven angels were finally completely enraged by Ji Yu Zuo's Chu Hao. They never thought that there would be an existence that is so indifferent to life, like a pile of utensils. Bold. How dare you so blaspheme the great lord. The seven angels immediately used their own powers to attack Chu Hao. Seven different attacks swept in the direction where Chu Hao was. These attacks often have terrifying bright attributes. But Chu Hao glanced at the group of angels indifferently, and then disappeared above Yu Emu's head. In the next instant, he appeared on the edge of the battlefield and looked here. Well, since you've lost the value of interest in me, then. Yu Mu. 
Following Chu Hao's orders, Yu Yu, who is so loyal to the Endless Abyss, finally begins its counterattack. Dong Dong Dong. In just one breath, Yu Yu was the first to be attacked by the first wave of angels before fighting back. Several rays of light hit Yu Emu's heads in an instant, and in an instant, countless Yu Emu's blood was spilled onto the world along with Yu Emu's screams. You must know that Yu Emu's existence itself has a very powerful toxicity, and his blood is even more so. When its blood was spilled on this world as a battlefield, everything in this world began to change. The forest, which was once covered with countless tall trees, was instantly polluted by these blood and became a barren land. And those rivers and lakes where fish and shrimp live have been polluted by these bloods and turned into pools of pitch black, stench-like poisonous swamps. As for those cities that were originally far from the battlefield, they also suffered disasters because of the arrival of these blood. Countless aliens screamed and tried in vain to leave their own city. But they were inevitably involved in this disaster. Because all they can see is the terrible black blood of Yu Mew. Once these aliens are stained with the black color of Yu Mew, they will die tragically in an instant. But death is still not their end. Those corpses that are covered with pollutants will climb up again in the ocean formed by pollutants after death, and eventually become brainless existences similar to mud monsters, continuing to spread terrifying plagues and pollution. Yu Mew has just been attacked, and this plane has endured the filth and erosion brought about by its power. Also, Yu Mew's counterattack has begun. On the eight heads above its head, the illusory black horns representing eight different powers also began to spray out all kinds of extremely deadly rays of light. Under it, the earth began to shatter, and the mountains began to crack. One of the angels was accidentally swept by this light, and the next moment screamed and fell from the sky. Its body made of pure light was also corroded a lot at this moment. And the light wings behind him also began to fall off. But this is not a fall. Angels, in such a home field, will not die easily. Angel, O oh messenger of the Lord, great. Countless murmurs sounded throughout the universe. In this world, all creatures who believe in the existence of angels are the source of strength for these angels. In an instant, this angel, corroded by venom, rejoined the battlefield with his own light wings amid countless prayers. You dare to create such a creation to defile my Lord's world. With a sword swing, Yu Emu's head was chopped off. It started, the final card of this world's assessment is also the final battle. In the observation room, a mentor saw the appearance of these angels, and also saw the angel cut off one of Yu Emu's head with a sword. Such a powerful creature made him worry about Chu Hao's challenge this time. Who do you think will win? Is it an angel, or the mythical creature from the Chu Hao world? He asked the colleague beside him, and the colleague touched his chin and was hesitating. But at this time, Wang Ji suddenly spoke, the angels will win. When everyone heard this, they were also very surprised. What? Wang Ji repeated it again. Angels, will win this battle. The monster on Chu Hao's side, although it looks so powerful, it is still a mythical creature in essence. But those angels... Wang Ji looked at the angel who had cut off the second Yu Emu's head on the screen, showing a worried look. But there are some beings that are close to demigods. Their strength, under the blessing of faith in the assessment world, is about to reach the edge of igniting the sea of souls. If this battle continues, then Chu Hao's route is inevitable. So, Chu Hao, what method should you use to eliminate these seemingly impossible enemies? The battle continues. Above the sky, the attacks of the angels are still extremely sharp. Each of these seven angels has been attacked several times by Yu Mew. Every attack by Yu Mew will corrupt these angels a lot and cause them to suffer huge damage. But every time, these angels will recover from extreme weakness. Wang Ji was right. In the entire assessment world, all the creatures who believe in angels are the source of the power of these angels. And the prayers in their mouths and the beliefs in their hearts are the support of the angels that will never fall. Although the current assessment world has lost a large number of people, among the remaining population, the number of devout people is still endless. Just like the ring of virtue that keeps spinning until the end of the apocalypse in this universe, these angels will fight to the end with the devils who invade the world created by the Lord. Cut. An angel used the weapon in his hand, accompanied by a rainbow-like sacred light, and slashed at Yu Emu's neck. Boom. From the scales on Yu Emu's neck, there was a terrifying crashing sound. It's invincible defense in the endless abyss, at this moment. 
Not working enough. Boom. Yu Mu, a head comparable to a giant mountain, slammed into the earth on this planet like a meteorite. In an instant, the shock wave generated by the violent impact caused the continent of this plane to collapse a lot again. Many aliens living in this plane began to flee frantically between the highly toxic pollution and terrifying earthquakes produced by Yu Mu. But they are too weak to master the rules of space, and most of them still die miserably. And all of this is just a battle between the top creators created by the two supreme creators. Yu Mu and the angels. Their fight has literally damaged the very foundation of this planet. Roar. Yu Mu exerted his strength again at this moment, biting an angel fiercely, biting the opponent's entire body into his own mouth. It tried to use its own ability to completely kill this, resurrected, angel. But unfortunately, the, the mortal, angel once again escaped from the cage cast by Uemu's mouth. And before escaping, he also punched a huge blood hole in Uemu's head. Another Uemu's head, hanging weakly above its body. Ah. Suddenly, Yumu heard a sigh from the ruler of the endless abyss behind him. Host. Even in battle, Yumu still pays close attention to the every move of the ruler of the endless abyss. When it heard this sigh, it instinctively thought that its own ability was denied by the other party. Go back, Yu Mu. There was no expression on Chu Hao's sad and unhappy face. He just faintly said the words to let him back off. I can still. Yu Mu still has four heads at this moment, and these four heads are also rapidly reborn. It can still fight. But, it doesn't matter, I have seen the result of this battle. You can return to the endless abyss. Hearing this, Yu Mu stopped attacking and acted defensively, and then resisted the attacks of all the angels, retreating to the endless abyss little by little, leaving only the broken planet and the planet above, all that is corrupted by its presence. No matter what it wants to do, the will of the endless abyss must be followed. Villain, have you decided to die? As Yu Mu left, the angels immediately surrounded Chu Hao. And Chu Hao himself looked at the sky with a smile, and the group of arrogant angels let out their own laughter. Death. Me. Ha 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 ha. Hearing Chu Hao's laughter, the angels also drew their own weapons and pointed at Chu Hao. No, no, you misunderstood. Chu Hao waved his hands and said to them. I've been watching you since just now, I'm just. Just do research. From the beginning, I didn't put your presence there. While speaking, Chu Hao himself turned into a dark fog. In the fog, a pair of eyes with black and red swirls are looking at all the angels with disdain. To put in one's eyes. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. When the angels saw Chu Hao's appearance, they immediately became vigilant, not knowing what he was going to do. But what they didn't expect was that in the dark fog where Chu Hao was, a soul. He was thrown out. This is. Even the angels didn't expect Chu Hao to make such a move. What does he want to do? What? An extremely filthy soul was thrown before the angels. All of them can feel that this soul is a member of this original world. However, unlike what they once taught, the master of this soul has fallen to the extreme. At the core of its soul, in the depths of the dark sea of mind, the seed of faith that once represented the seven virtues has become dark and depraved. And while the angels were still stunned, this soul was suddenly destroyed. Everything about this soul began to dissolve. And at this moment, Chu Hao's voice appeared. Just like your stupid masters, you stupid creatures don't understand the so-called life at all. With the dissolution of this soul, a ray of black suddenly wrapped around one of the angels, like a maggot on the tarsus, and would never fall off again. The so-called life is simply impossible to have only virtues. The angel screamed and wanted to remove it, but for some reason, even the ring of virtue couldn't help it. Life itself is like chaos. There are good things that come from education, and evil that comes from the soul and instinct. The angels, under everyone's attention, let out a scream. Its ability, with the dissolution of this soul, is permanently weakened. Although only one point, it is indeed a debilitating reality. As long as it is life, there will be whether it's a craving for food gluttony. Another soul emerged from the black mist where Chu Hao was, an equally depraved and twisted soul. It's still a color gamut that desires to reproduce offspring. One soul after another kept appearing in front of Chu Hao. And Chu Hao, holding these endless souls, let them be ignited, and finally dissolved in front of own. 
the flavor of the ignited soul shot into Chu Hao's nasal cavity, and Chu Hao smiled in satisfaction. I love these so-called sinful flavors, but now, it's your turn. Sigh. Chu Hao took a deep breath and sprayed some of the ignited soul fragments before speaking to the angels with satisfaction. Chu Hao, who transformed into a black mist, manipulated the mist and showed an evil smile. It's like an indelible spring. No matter how much you teach people to be positive, teach them what real kindness is. Deep in their hearts, there is always an evil side, oh. I almost forgot, you call these evils original sins. After finishing speaking, in the black fog where Chu Hao was, endless fallen souls emerged. The number of these souls is so large that they quickly occupy the entire sky of the plain. The sight of these angels is completely packed. Moreover, once these souls appeared, they immediately began to dissolve continuously under the operation of the endless abyss. Everything in their souls began to irreversibly dissolve. These, these sins, these original sins, the longer they are suppressed, the stronger the power they burst out. It starts with consciousness and ends with true spirit. These souls are quickly dissolving, leaving only the only thing left. Those angels, no no, are the masters of this world, the masters who designed this assessment world, the seed of faith planted from the souls of the creatures in this world. Even now, Chu Hao is still unable to crack this so-called, seed, structure. After all, it involves the theory of the soul, which is an area that only the supreme gods are qualified to touch. Chu Hao, who has not yet reached such a height, cannot clearly see the specific structure of these things. But this does not mean that Chu Hao cannot apply these seeds of belief, it does not mean that the endless abyss cannot contaminate these seeds. In the previous third test, that is, the battle of the abyss of the Marnus Legion, Chu Hao began to study these seeds of belief. In that study, Chu Hao discovered several properties of these belief seeds that were surprising. The first is the ability to grow. The more devout the owner of these seeds is, the more, big, these seeds are in the sea of their soul, and the more they can illuminate more areas of the sea of mind. The second is that these seeds of belief can unconditionally communicate to higher level worlds, powerful existences in higher dimensional worlds, and convert some of their overflowing, powers, into, magic magic, in those mortals. Of course, the more pious, the more powerful the magic they possess. The discovery of these two features allowed Chu Hao to discover a very important piece of information. That is, the so-called beliefs are actually manipulated by humans. Faith, in fact, is nothing special, it is just a means used by ordinary creatures, that is, mortals to communicate with higher dimensional creatures. And the seed of faith is just a mark left by the powerful creatures of higher dimensions in the sea of the minds of mortals. It's like a dog's pee in the enclosed area. But here it is. The so-called belief in conferred gods is nothing but a false lie. Those high latitude gods are not powerful because of their beliefs, but on the contrary. It is because they are powerful that they have gained the faith of mortals. The stronger they are, the more divine fire they gain, and the stronger they become. This is a positive cycle. This is the real karma. Of course, in addition to these two characteristics and one discovery, Chu Hao also discovered one of the most important inventions in the third assessment. That is, once these mortals who are hosted by the seeds of faith, that is, those alien races who assess the world, once fall, once they are corrupted by the endless abyss. Then their sea of minds will be invaded, and the seeds of faith in the sea of their souls will also mutate. A thing that is the exact opposite of what is called virtue. The original sinners. These corrupted seeds of faith will produce a steady stream of faith power as before they were corrupted, but the things derived from these faith powers are original sin, evil thoughts, and sin. A black, flaming sin. The more devout guys before the corruption, the deeper they will degenerate after the corruption, and the more, sins, they will produce. And the only characteristic of sinners is to corrode the source of those seeds of faith and let them get backlash. I want to know, how did you guys feel after encountering the backlash? Looking at the angels surrounded by countless sins, Chu Hao said without sadness and joy. At this moment, more and more souls are dissolving in front of one angel after another, returning, the seeds of faith originally given by these angels to them. On the other side of the world, all the fallen ones who had already belonged to the endless abyss camp were sacrificed by the devils one by one. There are so many of them that the earth turns red, and the rivers turn red. 
All souls that fall into the embrace of the endless abyss are destined to not get good results. Their death is the source of these fallen souls. The endless sins, like dark flames, swept the world madly. And these angels are the initial fire point. You, an angel who did not know what kind of virtue it represented, raised his head from the siege of sin, and looked at Chu Hao viciously. Isn't there any pity for the fall of these souls, for their suffering? At this time, a soul that looked exactly like the elf Eldrin dissolved in front of the angel, and a strand of sin wrapped around the angel's body, permanently weakening its strength. Then there was a thin, numb alien who was dissolved in front of the angel. Similarly, he also produced a ray of sin. And there are, quote quote, looking at the seven, angels, who were entangled in sin and unable to move, Chu Hao shook his head lightly. Actually, the reason why I ask you how you feel is because I want to study the effect of pain caused by sin. But if you ask me that, then I just want to say. I don't care. Chu Hao raised his head, looked at the ring of seven virtues that was still in operation above the sky, and showed a coldly smile. I will not pay attention to the thoughts of these evil souls who are destined to fall, and I will not have any mercy for their encounters. Because these souls have fallen by themselves, and the only end of their fall is to climb up desperately in the terrifying quagmire of the endless abyss, looking for a ray of hope for redemption. But in the endless abyss, how can there be hope? They'll just fall over and over again, forever stuck here. Endless abyss. This is the final destination of these fallen and evil souls. Regardless of whether they had the so-called blessing of faith during their lifetime, they will fall here. Forever. This test is me. Wan. I won. When Chu Hao said these words lightly, he disappeared here. The next second, his figure appeared in the center of the assessment world, on the edge of the white planet. Where he left, those angelic beings who were embodied by the ring of virtue were struggling with sin. These creatures powered by mortal beliefs will eventually usher in the end of being backlashed by their beliefs. And behind Chu Hao, there are a total of 13, all over the dark and filthy planet. These filths are all terrifying marks left by the devils after their conquest or death. Every piece of it means that an area has been identified and polluted by the endless abyss. And at Chu Hao's feet, the, below, position of this universe, the black and red vortex of the endless abyss, is also slowly approaching the core of this universe. It is opening its own, big mouth, trying to devour the world. All in all, everything in this assessment world will become part of the endless abyss. Its rules, its resources, and its world core. All will return to the abyss and become its food. However, these days are no longer the focus of Chu Hao's concern. What he wants to do most now is to satisfy his own curiosity. He wants to know. What is hidden on this planet? What kind of reward is it worthy of? This is the most difficult fourth assessment in Tianding University. What's going on in here? Thinking of this, Chu Hao slowly fell to the surface of this small planet. Success. Chu Hao made it. In the observation room, all the instructors were stunned by the scene in front of them. In an instant, all the people watching this battle were boiling. Finally, in Tianding University, the first person who successfully challenged the fourth assessment appeared. Oh my god, I can't imagine that Chu Hao actually passed the test with such a high degree of difficulty. Yeah, hundreds of legions, dozens of mythical strength creatures, and the seven theoretically immortal angels. The mentor recalled the terrifying state of the seven angels, and could not help but admire Chu Hao. He saw with his own eyes the beginning of this war and the end of this war with his own eyes. Chu Hao's efforts during this period were all seen by him. What a world with great potential. The future of the divine realm world of endless abyss is really immeasurable. Thinking of this, the instructor looked at Wang Ji. At this time, Wang Ji was already relaxed. Obviously, Chu Hao's perfect clearance has made him no longer worry about it. In the picture, the endless abyss is dragging the entire assessment world into the abyss. All this shows that the winner of this assessment is Chu Hao. How about it, how do you feel when you see Chu Hao pass the fourth test? Wang Ji first touched his own chin, and then listened to the cheers of countless people outside the window, and smiled. I don't have any impressions. My only impression is that we seem to need a new assessment world. Ha ha ha, yes, everything in this world belongs to Chu Hao, and his world of God's domain will thrive because of this, but 
The instructor glanced at Wang Ji and asked a new question. But there is one thing I don't understand. What is hidden in this assessment world? I've been here for many years, but I only know that the assessment world is called the gift of the founder of Tianding University, or in other words, the gift of the devil. Then what is this so-called gift? As the principal, you must know a little bit. How about it? It's not too much to tell me a little bit. Who knows, Wang Ji was also stunned when he heard this, and then he shook his head. No, I really don't know the secret of this assessment world, but I know a little vaguely. What? The founder of this assessment world seems to be our principal, that is, Bai Chen's teacher, her master. What? That's right, maybe principal Bai Chen knows a little about what is hidden in this assessment world, but I really don't know. Inside the principal's office, Bai Chen sighed after looking at the screen. Her pair of eyes are slowly moving at this moment, as if they have never changed. Chu Hao in the picture has already passed the fourth test and is heading to that pure white planet. Unexpectedly, Chu Hao's endless abyss actually won this death battle between the two worlds. Although I don't want to admit it, the experience of this war really made me feel extremely novel. A world where even belief can be distorted, and the fallen creatures it creates, the two together have produced a power that I didn't expect before. The low dimensional world actually has such a form of expression. Well done, Chu Hao. You have successfully allowed me to see the true appearance of the low dimensional world, and also gave me new insights into the low dimensional world. After saying all this, there was a rare smile on Bai Chen's mouth. But I still want to know how you can solve the problem of low dimensional defects, so that the world can continue to survive. Luck is only temporary. But these are not important, the important thing is, I want to know, next. Teacher her. When the word, teacher, was mentioned, Bai Chen's expression suddenly became gloomy and uncertain, as if she had too many complicated emotions for that teacher. What kind of reward will it bring you? Bai Chen's eyes continued to stare at the picture in front of her, but what she didn't expect was that. Just as Chu Hao's feet stepped on the surface of the planet, the picture disappeared. What's the situation? What's the matter? The screen disappeared. She was not the only one. Everyone who aimed the screen at the assessment world found that the screen disappeared the moment Chu Hao stepped into the white planet. Examining the world, this artificial divine world, which has been observed by Tianding University for a hundred years, has closed all windows to the outside world at this moment. It was as if it had been silenced at the moment, a dead silence. In Tianding University, no one can detect what happened inside. Except for Chu Hao himself. Examining the world. What is this? Chu Hao looked at the only building on this planet. A library. But the entrance to this library is down. Who are you? Chu Hao asked. And in front of the entrance of the library, stood a people. A person, with only the shape of light. Who are you? When Chu Hao saw this person with the shape of light, he asked this question with full of doubts. He said that because he could feel that this guy. Very weird. Strangely enough, Chu Hao could not feel any soul fluctuations in the other party, which means that the other party is not any kind of creature that Chu Hao is familiar with. But Chu Hao clearly felt at this moment that the other party was conscious and had his own thoughts. This is because the other party saw him and greeted him. Robot. Illusion. Mind invasion. Brain in a vat. Just when Chu Hao was thinking about what kind of existence the other party was, the other party spoke up. You successfully passed the fourth test. The other party took the lead in raising its question to Chu Hao. And Chu Hao noticed that the voice this guy made was female. Chu Hao nodded. Well, I completed the fourth assessment, but you haven't answered my question, who are you? Who am I? I forgot. And I also forgot a lot of things, such as my name, such as my past, I only remember that I am here to ensure that these precious memory are given to the person who passed the assessment. After speaking, the figure, looked, at the library behind him. Since you are here, then I can be free too. It's all about what? Chu Hao complained. What kind of messed up plots are these, third-rate novels on the street stalls? Is this the final reward for assessing the world just a bunch of things that I'm not interested in at all? Before he finished speaking, this humanoid, unknown what it was made of, suddenly dissipated in front of Chu Hao. Then, countless light spots began to melt into Chu Hao's body. No matter how Chu Hao blocked it, these light spots still steadfastly melted into his body. 
A memory. The next second, Chu Hao's eyes became indifferent. And paragraphs of memories of not knowing who the owner is, began to merge into his mind. But during this time, some people discovered Chu Hao's abnormality. My god, Chu Hao's supernatural fire numbers are starting to skyrocket. What? Someone inadvertently noticed the ranking list of Tianding University, and his glance made him scream. On the list, the number of Chu Hao's magic fire is rapidly expanding. The number of his divine fires, from less than 10,000 at the beginning, has rapidly increased to 30,000, and this value is still growing rapidly, and there is no sign of stopping. No one has ever heard of such a growth rate. Chu Hao, what did you get? Failed. This is the first time. Chu Hao stood silently, beside, a violent woman who couldn't see her face, watching her writing on a blackboard frantically. According to my previous theory, these things should be successful. A wheel of virtue, which is still in its infancy, is leaping above the blackboard. Obviously, this guy is the real designer of the wheel of virtue, and she is also the original designer of those angels. However, the wheel of virtue at this time was just like garbage, piled up in the corner of the blackboard. What really makes Chu Hao noteworthy is what this guy describes, a world, rule, that Chu Hao has never seen before. According to my theory, the creatures I designed should also be able to ignite divine fire and become demigods like us. But why, all the creatures in the world of God's domain can't ignite the fire of God like us? Their structure is no different from ours, and their souls, like ours, have the existence of the sea of minds. Even they can be embodied in our world. But that is, no matter how hard you try, they can't completely ignite the fire like us. It's not scientific. It's not magic. It's not even self-cultivation. Ah, there must be something wrong. While writing new rules, this woman reintegrated her own beliefs into her own world of God's domain, and tried some new rules to see what changes would occur. And Chu Hao's perspective has also changed. In a huge world composed of hundreds of planets, the woman, caught, a giant monster that was screaming. Don't be afraid, little baby. I'm just using you as a, ah, little experiment. Chu Hao covered his face and watched speechlessly as the woman held down a monster with a demigod strength level and incorporated its newly rewritten rules into the opponent's body. By the way, the monster caught by the other party is much stronger than the previous, angels. It is a real monster with demigod strength. Okay, the injection is successful. With the woman's cheers, the monster is finally, free. Let me see if you can ignite the sea of mind and ignite the fire of God as I thought. After that, the woman directly injected a lot of divine power into this demigod level monster. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Chu Hao leaned over curiously, but the next second. Let him, let this person who is in charge of the endless abyss feel the terrifying picture appeared. Ouch. Suddenly, the powerful monster beast that was still alive, at the moment when it was injected with divine power, it began to awaken and ignite the divine fire, illuminating the sea of its own soul. Success. But in the next second, this monster began to decay madly. Not the aberration in the endless abyss, nor the weakness of the angels when they were riddled with sin, but a real physical decay. Everything about it, its soul, its flesh, suddenly began to decay extremely rapidly, and everything it possessed, as if it was constantly being attracted by an unknown and terrible attraction, toward the inside of its body. The core area collapsed quickly. This mountain-like monster just screamed and wailed and turned into a black spot. Eventually, the black spot disappeared. This monster. Nothing is left. The ashes of the body and the fragments of the soul all turned into pure nothingness. Nothing is left. Nothing but nothingness. This is also the first time Chu Hao has seen such a powerful and neat means of annihilation. Why is that? The woman raised her head, her eyes staring blankly in the direction that the monster had annihilated. Why does this happen? As soon as the screen changed, Chu Hao returned to that area again. However, at this time, it has been a long time since the experiment. At this time, all kinds of chaos have appeared in this laboratory. And this woman seems to have become a lot more irritable. However, one of her actions caught Chu Hao's attention. She wrote on the blackboard. A formula with brand new rules. Chu Hao was silent, watching all this in front of him. A brand new formula, representing the basic rules of the world, appeared on the blackboard. 
The woman seemed to have lost all her strength. After writing, she sat limply on the ground. This formula. Chu Hao walked to her side, stood behind her, and looked at the blackboard. Silence. Long silence. It's wrong. It's wrong. The two sides have been separated by an unknown number of years, and they do not know how far apart they are. But the two of them, at this moment, in this place, seem to be destined, and at the same time, they issued the exact same conclusion to the formula on the blackboard. The formula is wrong. Sure enough, it's still wrong, or in other words, it should be wrong. I don't know why, and I don't know if it's because of what happened. This lady gave up the experiment of creatures to light up the sea of mind, and put her own, interest, above the rules of the world. In other words, this lady has refocused her research on the basic rules and formulas that affect creatures in the divine realm world. The screen changes again. It's just that this time the memory picture changes at a speed that is many times faster than before. From the memory picture that was inactive for dozens of minutes before, it changed to various pictures that took less than a few minutes, just like a mirror engraved with memories turned into fragments of a mirror. Chu Hao, just like that, jump through various memory screens. Every time the memory jumps, the lady will appear in front of the blackboard and modify the formula in front of her. Every time, she would stop in front of the formula, staring at the formula with an expression that Chu Hao could not see. Although he can't see the expression or the face, Chu Hao can really feel the message from this lady. Bitterness and despair, I don't know if it's psychological. Chu Hao felt that the atmosphere in this lady's memory picture was getting darker and more suffocating. Even an outsider like him can feel the large amount of negative energy accumulated in the other party. In contrast, the formulas on the blackboard are still full of loopholes. The day when this formula is completed is still a long way off. The screen turned faster and faster. I don't know how long it took, even when Chu Hao was bored. These old memory pictures began to change. Master, I have completed the design of the world of God's domain and graduated successfully. A young girl with yellow hair and wearing a white Taoist robe happily ran in from outside the house and hugged the lady. And I'm number one, in the transcendent world. The number of Shinho is high, but it's not very powerful. When the lady heard this, for the first time, she stopped her work and reached out her hand to touch the girl's head with relief. Amazing, our Bai Chen is smart. Bai Chen. That seems to be the name of our principal, etc. This lady is Bai Chen's master. For Chu Hao, who only knew that Bai Chen was their principal, but had never seen each other, this was unexpected news. Before Chu Hao came back to his senses, the picture changed again. It's still as dark as ever, the same blackboard, but this time, this one represents a new world rule, and the formula seems to be getting better and better. As if the lady had found some key node, the speed of perfecting this formula finally accelerated. The memory fragments in the back are still the blackboard, the formula and the lady. However, unlike before, this time, Bai Chen appeared from time to time. Master, I have enough divine fires, and I have become an inferior god. Master, I found some resources in a small secret realm, I'm going to add new rules. Master, it seems that in this dark time, Bai Chen is the only light in this lady's life, illuminating her laboratory and her world. Only when Bai Chen came, would this lady feel at ease with all her work and chat happily with the other party. Finally, the days of coexistence of despair and hope are over. Master, I can finally help you improve your formula. I have obtained part of the priesthood of the main god sequence, star god. Although it is only 1%, it is enough for me to accompany you to some large secret realm to help you find the answer. Hearing this, the lady's hand suddenly trembled slightly. Although it was inconspicuous, Chu Hao still caught her eye. Amazing, Bai Chen, but master, I don't want you to accompany me to those secret realms. The end of the picture, this time, is long darkness. I don't know how long it took, but the last and longest memory fragment appeared in front of Chu Hao. In the picture this time, this lady is using an abandoned world core to refine a new world of the gods from the outside, a world of the gods that is exactly the same as the assessment world. Judging from the opponent's hand, this lady's true identity is estimated to be the existence of a powerful substitute for the main god. When this future assessment world was refined, the lady walked to the blackboard and wrote a line. Rules Formula
But unlike before, the rule formula for this row is available and correct. But it is also different from before, this time the formula is only half, or even less than half. Hey, are you watching? Suddenly, like a thunderclap, the lady spoke to the direction where Chu Hao was. Don't worry, I can't see you, because this is what I am saying to someone in the future who will look at my memory, we are not in the same time and space at all. I will then use my divine incarnation as a seal to keep a part of my memory in the core of this divine world, and I will help the girl named by Chen to establish a university called Tianding. I will give some of my memory and the trace of divinity that seals this memory to you, as the final reward of this university assessment project. Hee <laughs> hee, although I don't know who you are, male or female, and what you look like, the only thing I can guess is. The woman sat on the stool and spoke to the nothingness in front of her, but it was indeed the direction where Chu Hao was. You must be a guy full of ambition and madness. A guy who is willing to risk the destruction of the world of God's domain for those legendary, highest rewards to pass this final test. Of course, only a little guy like you is worthy of this memory. Her attitude at this time was full of contempt, completely different from the previous frustration. It's like a person standing on the top of a mountain has the same attitude towards a practitioner who climbs down the mountain. Proud and conceited to the extreme. Quote quote. Chu Hao remained silent. I believe you must be thinking and guessing, what is the use of this formula I have been pursuing? The lady sat on the stool with her legs crossed, proudly speaking to the nothingness in front of her. Hey, don't guess, I'll tell you directly. This formula, the real use, is for perfecting every other type of dominion world, transforming it into a truly infinite world. This is a, represents the rule formula that cancels the restrictions on the world of God's domain. Everyone's divine realm world is a completely different existence. The woman continued, although the basic formulas used by these divine realm worlds are the same, even if the creatures they make are of the same type, and even though everything about them is made by the same person, it is undeniable. There is no identical God's domain world. Any little bit, whether it's external or internal changes, will have a very big impact and change on the world of God's domain. The lady touched the former world of assessment, looked at the formula on the blackboard, and said to Chu Hao. Although these divine realm worlds are different in one way or another, they have one thing in common. They all have huge limitations. Whether it is the area of the God's domain, or the resources within it, even the number of such things as the energy conversion formula, there is an upper limit. To put it simply, every divine realm world, from the very beginning of injecting the first formula, their potential is like words in a book, and they are dead. Although the masters of the God's domain, that is, we, can increase the potential and scale of the God's domain by collecting divine fire and obtaining the divine status and status, but as far as I know, even those high-ranking sequence lord gods, their divine realm world also has huge restrictions. And, I can tell you some secrets, some. Suddenly, the woman's voice was a little lower. What the sequence master gods know will never tell outsiders the secrets. Hearing this, Chu Hao was also stunned. That is, the group of sequence master gods who seem to be high above and suppress this world and secret realms with their stalwart power will actually fall. They are also pursuing an unrestricted world. They also have shackles on them. Hearing this, Chu Hao was stunned. This is completely different from his perception. In his impression, no no, in everyone's impression, those high-ranking sequence lord gods have never fallen. From the beginning to the end, it was just those few beings who were unimaginably powerful, ruling the entire world. Although their status is not known by ordinary people like Chu Hao, and although the power of these powerful lord gods will rise and fall, their status has indeed never changed. At least in the time recorded in the book, there has been no change. I know, you may not believe what I said, but it's true. Because, star god he is about to fall. Another secret message that made Chu Hao's scalp tingle. At this moment, Chu Hao regretted hearing this, he didn't want to be involved in any conspiracy between the main gods. Especially at this stage. Hey hey hey, perhaps guessing something, the lady gave a wicked smile in the direction where Chu Hao was. Do you feel your scalp is numb, and you regret why you listen to these things? Ha ha ha, I can imagine how your face will look after hearing this news in the future, ha 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 ha. This guy's character is really bad. Chu Hao complained silently in his heart. Okay, 
I won't tell you this, I don't know who it is. In a word, I will explain some things next. The other party who had just had a bad taste just now finally calmed down. First of all, in order to improve this formula, I will take the initiative to go to the secret realm in the Chaos Dead Sea area. This is to improve my research, and the second is to avoid some existences and prying eyes on me. As for who those beings are, I think it's the best choice for you to remain unknown. Secondly, and most importantly, whether my research is successful or not, whether I live or not, I will stay there until I die. I will also put the results of my research and all my wealth into hide in the deepest part of this area. And these coordinates are one of my ideal hiding places. Of course, there is also a great possibility that my research has not been completed, and only a large part of it has been completed. You still need to conduct experiments on your own for the rest. But my thinking is indeed correct. The only thing I lack is time. After speaking, the lady engraved the coordinates one by one on the blackboard behind her, turned around, and said to Chu Hao. So, little guy, you currently have two choices. The first one is to pretend to forget everything that happened here, and treat all that you see as a madman's mad words. If you choose the first item, you can get a lot of divine fire with the help of my divine incarnation. Although it's just a ray of my divinity, the number of these divine fires is already an end that ordinary people can't reach in a lifetime. If you are like this, you can at least become a lower level god. But if you choose the second option, hey hey. The lady smirked again and said to Chu Hao. That is, trying to find my way to my research and my wealth. Then all I can say is that you will experience many horrible things, unknown enemies, and unknown future. And all of this will torture your will, destroy your heart, and make you give up this path. Even until you fall, you won't be able to see these treasures of mine. While speaking, the woman walked, in front of, Chu Hao. The two sides were separated by countless voids and countless times, and finally looked at each other. How do you choose, little guy? Hearing this, Chu Hao also showed a hideous expression. You guy, I have to say, Chu Hao really admires this guy. Whether it is her research results or her wealth, it is a coveted existence. She is equivalent to burying a huge treasure in a place that is difficult for ordinary people to touch, and clearly told the other party that only you have the blueprint of this treasure. And such a temptation, Chu Hao simply could not refuse. It's really like a devil, good at deceiving people. Chu Hao was moved by the temptation of the other party. The picture quickly became pitch black, and the other party's memory was over. But before it was completely over, the lady's voice came from the darkness. By the way, although I don't want to say that, but I can guess that after you get out of here, that little guy Bai Chen will definitely ask you about everything that happened here, and even trouble you, she is sure would be curious what exactly you got here after all me. Oh, I still can't kill karma. Please tell her. Master, I lied to her. Compared to all kinds of fetters, I am still more obsessed with my own research. This is my nature, and it is my indelible nature. Sorry. As long as you say this, maybe she won't be embarrassing you anymore and will be relieved. Thank you, stranger. Screen goes black. Chu Hao returned to his own consciousness. In the next instant, he suddenly discovered that the number of own god fires was skyrocketing. He will. Ascended. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.